hello 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 all right let's have a good night of phasmophobia i have an apple hello 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 Okay, looks like we're all fixed and we are ready to go. Hello, Fee Mackie, welcome back. Hello again. Yeah, I just had to restart my computer. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was like my little cursor thing was on this screen, but it was activating something over on my second screen. So we are all back. Gotta love a quick fix. You just kick the tires and away you go. All right. So we are, I haven't done anything on this one. I was just testing it out. But we are going after Margaret. Good old Margaret Stevens. Um, were you guys playing um, Hangman? How cute. Oh, you got the, un you got the Uncrustables and chocolate. Very cool. Hello, Lizzie. All right. Well, this ghost has been sitting here getting getting all mad at me waiting for me so let's see what we can do indy actually went outside to go to the bathroom so i'm super excited she just came in you want to say hi? here sit down can you see her come here hold on i want to show you indy come here sit down are you a good girl you are a good girl all right okay Hello. Yeah, I cut up an apple. I, you know what? I get so, I won't say I get frustrated, but I really like my stuff to work. And so I was just like, I centered, I focused. I went, I took a quick bathroom break. I cut up an apple. I grabbed some mini little muffins. And now I'm ready to go. I'm like, yeah, now we can do tonight. Now we can do it. Mama Bean, I need your help. I don't want to um, drink alcohol. I've been seeing more and more of it. No. One day at a time, my friend, I 100% um, will support a sober life. You got to just, every day is a new day that you wake up and you tell yourself that that is, um, that you deserve happiness and that's not a part of your happiness. So I 100%, like I said, support you, and you got this. You got this. I love um, apples and peanut butter. Absolutely love it. Yep, and you have to start changing your habit, 100%. Whatever you, you used to do, because we all had it. I mean, if you have a problem with drinking, Chances are you're going to have a drinking time and you have to do something else besides drink in that drinking time. One of my coworkers came back from a short leave and we had a huge fruit tray. Ooh, I love that. I have never had bubble tea. I have never ever. And I know that I probably am missing out on a whole lot, but I've never had bubble tea. Oh, you I thank you. I really liked today's outfit. I love wearing leggings. It, sometimes I feel like um, I perhaps um, am not, like I forgot to get all the way dressed, but I really do like my leggings. Let's see, put that up, put that here, put that there. <sighs> um... What is it, Elizabeth? Find out if um, Dread Out is on Lonnie's list. It is. I was watching. It's on Steam Creepy. <gasps> Ooh. Um. Oh, boba top top tapioca. Let's go get all our stuff in. Let's get our stuff in. Oh my gosh, this ghost is turning on lights everywhere. Let me get the rest of my stuff in here. Do I ever talk to the ghosts? Um, no, because the ghosts are always trying to, um, ghosts are always trying to hurt me, so I'm always trying to run from them. 
I mean, if I do talk to them, I'm usually not saying something very nice. So I try to not talk to them. A girl was search. Oh, really? And it's called Dead Out? Is that what that was called? Because, I mean, that sounds interesting. Okay. I was playing um, a new version of Phasmophobia today called um, Paranormal PI or something like that. And it was a pretty similar looking, pretty close to this. I really think that this one was a better gameplay though. Mm -mm -mm. Do we have any dropping temperatures? Dropping, dropping, dropping. Nope. Okay. Hello, Becky. All right, so we are playing Phasmophobia with a ghost who apparently likes to turn on all the lights. Now, we have some sort of little... Um, oh, you're on the hunt for an crustable in the UK? That's so cool. So we have some stuff thrown around here, but... Temperature's going down a little. Here we go. Andrea, how are you? Jessica, thank you for harding me, and thank you for my team bracelet. Thank you, everybody. Oh. Let's see if we can't get anything lower down. Okay, this out here was also... Andrea, thank you for my puff, my heart puffs, and Jessica, thank you again for my team bracelet and for hearting me. Okay. All right, so the little bone piece was in here, but I don't see any sort of Increased temperature here. I do not, I do not. Do, do. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Hello, the real queen, how are you? How is your Monday? How is your Monday doing? Oh, you like that? Thank you. Thank you. I did, um, I will say, I designed all of that myself, and I put a lot of, I put a lot of love and effort into that. I definitely did. All right, so we don't have any temperatures dropping over here. Um... Ooh, mushroom risotto. That sounds so good. Risotto? No, risotto. Not risotto. Risotto. Again, I don't pronounce things very well, so please forgive me. Okay, I heard that. Is there a phone or something over here? Curry noodles and scampi. That sounds good. Ooh, tacos. I love tacos. I could eat tacos all the time. Except, you know, I don't eat. I'm a vegetarian. But my favorite vegetarian taco is cauliflower. Cauliflower vegetarian tacos or, or a potato. Either one's really good. Oh, did you get the Uncrustable? Which, by the way, Smuckers, if you're watching, you need to hook us up and do like an Uncrustable Smuckers giveaway. Okay, we have a very shy ghost. Oh, did you see the light blinking in here? Ooh, I love that.
It was touching the garage door earlier. Okay. Cauliflower wings. I've had um, I've had the buffalo or cauliflower buffalo wings. Yes. I think anything with buffalo sauce on it is amazing. Okay, so the only place that's even remotely dropping temperature is right here. <laughs> the noise in that, uh, your house, yes. Like when Robert comes in and shuts a drawer or something or Andy sneaks up behind me, same thing. I even scare myself and I live here. Okay, so it, it's dropping in here a little bit. Um, oh, there's that moving right there. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going with a kitchen ghost just because the temperature is dropping here. So that was my little curtsy. So let's go ahead. Oh, just turned off the lights. Let's go ahead and let's see if I can't put this here. Let's put this right here. Let's put this right here. That looks pretty good. Let's grab that. We have EMF, but not a Not a five. Okay. It's still backwards. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's book it to the van and see if we can't at least see orbs. Let's see if we can see some orbs. Jessica, thank you again for my puppy hearts. Hello, Katie, how are you? I am in horrible shape. All right, I don't see any orbs. Oh, I just saw an orb. Okay, we do, oh! It's a little boy ghost. Did you see that? Did you see the little boy ghost? Um, yeah, Andy, thank you for my finger heart. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, that is crazy. All right, there's no, there is no doubt in my mind that we have a dots on this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, he was definitely stealing some Uncrustables. All right, so let's go ahead and put dots and orbs. And so we have that. That, my friends, was weird. That was cool. I'm glad we saw that one. Yeah. I like, I mean, for as creepy as I am, and I'm sorry that there's a little boy ghost, that was pretty cool. Spooky Bear, thank you for purchasing an auto subscription. I appreciate you. Stormy, thank you for my roses. Okay, so I'm going to have to have a ghost event. So let's just go ahead and put this in really quick. Yeah, no kidding, Andy. Now I feel kind of bad. Well, I'm not really hunting him. Th oh, Stormy, thank you for hurting me. I appreciate that. I'm not hunting, I'm just investigating. Huge difference, and it's right behind me again. I just saw that. Okay, let's go get the UV and the little squeaker box. Let's go get the UV and the squeaker box. Ansley, how are you tonight? Um... Oh, Pogo, I'm sorry, honey. Take your time. I'm going to be here for a while. Um, so we are going to be all good. The extra credit is repel the ghost with incense while it's chasing somebody, which would be me. 
um, it already blew out the firelight and have your member or team witness a ghost event. So I will be trying all of that. Now let's go in with, oh, you know what? Let's go in with a cross. Let's go in with a crucifix because I really don't want to get, I would like to stop that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, it's been raining consistent. My backyard is definitely, um, I won't say flooded, but it definitely has a lot of water in it. And other than that, it is uh, not horribly bad. Okay, did he say I was scared or did he say I'm here? That's what I thought he said. I thought he said I'm scared. <sighs> Aw, poor little poor little guy. Yeah. Oh, he's still throwing stuff around. Um, yep. I every I think every single one of us hates using the spirit box. So I'm eating apple, and I turned it off so you didn't have to hear me crunching. Yeah, we heard it. Okay. So we are out of here. Sorry, little guy. Oh, wow. It's Margaret. Sorry, Margaret. We are leaving you behind. And we got Miss Page. Thank you for my game controller. I appreciate you. So we got the dots, the orbs, and the spirit box. Um, I already did the extra credit as much as I could. Um, because have your member of the team witness a ghost event. Repel the ghost with incense. So, I mean, I can go back. Okay, let's go back in and see if we can't get an event. And hopefully I make it out alive. Let's hopefully I make it out alive. I'll bring in another cross just in case. I'm going to double up. Yeah. Lucky, I'm so gullible. You're like, go back in. I'm like, okay. Lucky says to go back in. Um, so I'm going to go back in. <laughs> Be like, why didn't you make it home from work today? I'm like, I don't know, because Lucky told me just to go back in and get chased by a ghost. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go back in because, you know, that's what they said to do. And I'm pretty coolable. Oh, I'm staying right here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be like, do, 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 do. Maybe I'll go around with a camera. Be like, hello, little Margaret. Um, come on out. Come out. Come out and scare me. Come on, you can do it. I know I'm in your kitchen. I'm walking around. Defend the Uncrustables. Officer, I said nothing. They'll be like, um, we have you on tape. She was recording it. Pisha, that was somebody else. My, my computer was hacked. <laughs> I can take some pictures of that. Just walking around, looking for stuff. Looking for stuff, waiting for a ghost event. 
Um, I did. I actually used the spirit box, and it told me it was scared, which made me a little sad because you know it's just it was a it was a tiny little ghost. It was a tiny little ghost. A ghost event is something that where it's like you can hear it, and it um, it's like almost like it is, it's like a pre-attack. I guess you could say. So I don't. Um, yeah, I'm back on. I I just had to restart my computer, and I'm sorry about that, everybody. Oh, first rule of Bean Club is is that we don't apologize. So I um, I don't know if I can. I guess I think the lower. The lower my sanity, the more likely it is to hunt. I think maybe. Let's see what's going on. Pretty active. Might have a memory of a ghost team witness a ghost event. I can chase it around with incense, maybe. Can you turn the lights on? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, it's got that there. Okay, it flipped the breaker. So let's go. Where was the breaker again? Oh, I think the breaker's downstairs, and I'm not going downstairs. So we are not... As a streamer, I always say you can't have a stream without one technical difficulty. They seem to come my way quite a bit sometimes, but I appreciate that. And sometimes I have to remember that we're dealing with technology and technology doesn't always, doesn't always appreciate what we do. <sighs> Chase it with incense. No, and I'm not going down there. Thank you. That's scary down there. I'm just gonna hang out. Yeah. Well, at least we tried. Elizabeth, thank you for my Henry the Hedgehog. He's so cute with his little butterfly on his nose. We tried. Yeah. Okay. I would like to give myself a little shiny star for being brave because I went back in to try to see a ghost hunt. I was watching a stream yesterday and she kept accidentally muting somehow and couldn't figure out the problem forever. Oh, wow. That makes me feel good. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one that has technical difficulties. So that makes me feel better. And I'm not going to, that's right, Lucky. I think probably you're like, oh my gosh, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. So we have the dots, the orbs, and the spirit box. We know for sure this time. Okay. So let's get going. <laughs> Charlie. I like how you're going to bail her out. You're like, sorry, Lonnie's gone. I'm going to take care of Lucky. Bye-bye, ghost. You have daily live technical difficulties. Exactly. Hello, Eva. All right, so we got that one. Not bad. We got 395. Aw, Miss Page, thank you for my star. Elizabeth, thank you for my star. And Fee Mackey, thank you for my ducks on parade. We have a mama duck and a baby duck. We have ducks on parade. Okay, I have no idea what any of this means. So, all right, so let's go. And we are going to upgrade. Oh, I, I absolutely have no further. Um, I do not have in, I do not have any more issues with my, with hair issues. Okay. 
Okay, so let's, oh my goodness. Okay, so that's gonna take all my money, but let's see. Let's see what we can do. <sighs> It'll be worth it. Okay, again, lucky if you say to do it. Okay. All right, here you can just take all my money. I'm just gonna have to um, purposely not make it out so I can get my insurance and actually um, ah, and actually make some money. Okay, so we have that. We have that. All right, I have seven hundred and fifteen dollars. No um, security breach. No, Miles, I'm still stuck on that. Believe it or not. Still stuck on it. Can't believe it. Okay. Katie, thank you for hurting me. I appreciate you. All right. Let's go in with our new fancy EMF reader. That cost me all my money. And I'm level 20. I mean, that's got to be good. And let's go. Yeah. If I don't make it out, I have to repurchase my uh, equipment. That's one of the reasons I think I have insurance. Okay, so let's get my fancy EMF with my fancy flashlight and my old-fashioned thermometer that Robert makes fun of. Um, how many levels does this game have? You know what? I think you... I'm not 100% sure. I think it's more like just the hours you put into it and the better equipment. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it has 999. There you go. Elizabeth knows. There you go. When, when in doubt, ask Elizabeth. Um, Doris, let's see. I have to repel the ghost with incense while it's chasing somebody. Get my sanity below 25 and have her remember your ghost team. <gasps> Escape a ghost hunt. I'm not really liking that, but let's go. Let's go, ghosties. Let's go. That's crazy that it has almost a thousand. What happens when I get the monkey paw? Sounds very sinister. Okay, look. I don't even know how to read this one. In response to my wishes? Ooh, can I like make a wish in real life? That would be good. How do you do that? Do you just hold it and be like, I wish I was, um, I wish I was not ghost hunting or something? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, dang, okay. Well, I will, de oh wow. Nice how uh, the little washer and dryer is kind of beat up. Oh, okay. And then I can take a picture of it. I'd be like, make the ghost stand here while I take a picture of it. Um, when you play with other people and someone dies, you can wish to bring them back. And sometimes it works, but sometimes it gets you. Oh, I've never done the tarot cards either. I've seen the Ouija board, but I won't play with the Ouija board. And that's in real life and in uh, pretend uh, video game life. Okay, no, no garage ghost. Yeah, I try to avoid the ghost hunting. I don't want to piss it off. I mean, I have a tendency to piss the ghost off regardless. I don't want to make it even matter. Okay, and this is what I don't under... Ah, look at that door's open. I guarantee you that it's in this teeny, tiny, little back room of a back room of a back room. You know what I mean? Because it always does this to me. 
I don't know why the fan is on. Lonnie, where did you get your nails done and did you finish Killer Frequency? Um, no, Killer Frequency is going to be on Friday. And I get my nails done at, um, at a nail salon that is on Temecula Parkway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, can I be anywhere but here right now? All right, let's see if we have a temperature drop. I haven't used any of the cursed items that I've seen. The only one I did is I tried to use the mirror and it got me killed. Well, I think we have a basement ghost. What do you think? Shelby, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you find me and I'm glad you're here. Lily used the, and broke the mirror and I was curse hunted and survived. It was a wild game. Wow, that does sound crazy. Nope, I picked it up and um, the ghost just came up and just, tackled me okay so I'm assuming we have a basement ghost so let's get going oh really well shit howdy how do I figure that out because I'm thinking it's here just because the door was kind of open. Oh, it's below, we have below freezing. It's under zero. So it's definitely here. Oh, hold on. There we go. So it's definitely under, um, oh, you're very welcome. Thank you, Exotic. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Yep, it's under freezing. So we have freezing temps. And I'm going to assume that we have a, again, basement ghost. <sighs> Up, and let's go back out. Yeah, that EMF definitely was not um, a reading. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this and grab that. Let's go in. Let's go in and start putting some stuff down. Let's go in and put some stuff down. Katie, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. And then let's turn off the lights. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Let's turn the lights. Arlo's back. Check in. Check in. Checking. Checking. Checking, going the wrong way. Where in the heck am I? Okay, there I am. Checking, checking. Checking, checking, checking the door. Checking this door. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. And we're going up for more stuff. As soon as I figure out where in the heck I am, there I am. Turn. Okay. Now that's what you call a ghost event. So that, my friends, is a ghost event. Yep, that one was an event. So let's go ahead. 
how's my sanity? My sanity is still pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Surprise is not going to, well, I was, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Trying to be very PG-13 today. Let's go ahead and put this right here for now. Let's go ahead and put this right here for now. And go. Okay. And then I'm going to stand up and put this one right here. That's not great, but we'll be back. Um, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, no, Katie, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry that happened to you. Let's go ahead and put this. And let's go ahead and put that. Um, okay. Okay, it seems pretty quiet now. Miles, thank you, honey. I appreciate you. I will hopefully we'll have a marvelous time tonight. It's still not a five. It's just hankering around. Okay. Another ghost event. Let's throw this sucker down and go back up. Do you like how calm I am these days? I cannot believe how calm I am. <sighs> was that a five? I thought that was during a ghost event, though. I thought it was part of the event because she was messing around. Yeah, okay. Seth, thank you for my roses. I appreciate that. Thank you for my roses. I appreciate that. Well, let's see what we can see. I know my placement probably isn't that great, but let's see what we can see. Let's see what we can... It's throwing stuff. It just threw my book. It's actually not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too, too bad. Ethan, thank you for the follow. Spooky Bear, thank you for my team bracelet. You had to throw a kettle at you? Well... Tonight, I am having an apple and some mini muffins. Let's see, let's see. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, she did not like my book. She did, she did not like my suggestion for doing some journaling. Okay. Hello, Amy. Okay, so let's go ahead and cross off. Let's cross off ghost writing and orbs. And that's what we are left with. Not a whole lot to choose from. Yes, we are doing phasmophobia again. Let's go in with the spirit box. And I'll check the EMF when I'm down there again. Still pretty good on my sanity. It looks a little bit more active now. You know, I always say you have to show up to my lives with plenty of snack. Because we will ultimately end up talking about it. Spooky Bear, thank you for my team bracelet.
Aren't those cute, Danny? All right, let's go down. Uh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Darn it, darn it. No, I don't really. I think I would rather... Let's try to go down with another set of dots. Charlie, thank you so much. Charlie just sent out a gift sub. And Kat, you just won or you just got gifted a gift sub. Uh, so you have uh, your subscriber for a month. And after that, if you want to resubscribe, it's $2.99 a month. Thank you, Charlie, so, so much. I appreciate you so, so much. Let's try a different angle, maybe. Let's try right here. And then let's move this. Let's put it like right here. Okay, we got that. So let's try this. Ah, I hate this. So would that be um, the spirit box? <gasps> you just ordered your hoodie. Yay, Pickaloo, thank you. No, okay. I accidentally threw my spirit box. Where's my EMF? It's pissed and it's throwing shit. Okay. Okay, I'm totally weirded out and I'm just gonna get out of here because I'm totally weirding out right now. So d was there a UV by the footprints? Did you see that, Fee Mackey? Oh, she threw my camera. Holy guacamoles, everybody. I didn't, I didn't see it. Go chase her with the incense. The foot the footprints were from the ghost. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's put that down. Let's try this. Wish me luck, everybody. Hello, Mackie Doodle. You can already hear him. Shit. All right, we have an EMF five.
Go, go, go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got out of dodge. I was holding my breath. Okay, so no orbs, definitely no orbs. You think it's the twins? Right now it's just in my link tree that's in my bio. You think it's an Oni? Okay, so an Oni is the dots, but we don't see. And then the twins would be freezing temperatures, spirit box, and then The peaks on the activity board would be mirrored if it's the twins. Oh, that's an, an interesting fact. Okay, so it was super pissed then. That's a horrible view, but... Um, uh, oh, Pogo, that's so awesome. Thank you. I don't want to go back, but okay. I'm going to go back with another cross crucifix, too. I, we all need that comfort hoodie. Oops. Do not throw the crucifix, Lonnie. Okay, wish me luck, everybody. Okay, I'm going to circle one. I'm going to circle one before I go in. Which one do you want me to circle? Circle the twins? Okay. Got it. Now, the twins are the spirit box, right? Okay. Danny, thank you for my roses. Janie, thank you for hearting me. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Come on, insurance. <sighs> I tell you, my insurance, I make more money on insurance. Hello, Sage. Silver Wolf, thank you so much for my roses. I appreciate you. And Tristan, thank you for my heart puff. I know. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, personally, I would, yeah. This is phasmophobia. That proper got me. Well, that proper got me too. All right, let's go back in one more time. And then after that, we should be able to, let's do ridge view. I like that one. Um, we should be able to play Firewatch after that. Um, 
Welcome back. I just got some jobs ready. Um, really like I just died. Exactly. Charlotte, hello. Uh, yes, two more if this is easy. I can play Phasmo all night. I absolutely love this game. <laughs> yeah, my boss is like, there's no time for, there's no time for, there's no downtime for, get back out there. Okay, we have another girl ghost. This one is Emily. I have to find evidence with an EMF reader. I have a member of your team witness a ghost event. Oh, I could get all of these. So let's try to get this. This is a great game. And what I was saying earlier tonight is I'm going to be doing another um, TikTok in another gamer lounge. And um, I can play any game I want. And I chose to pick this game. And that will be not this Saturday, but next Saturday, starting at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will be playing Phasmophobia um, on TikTok's Gamer Lounge for an hour. If I get my, if I get my, Tristan, thank you again. Um, Andy, thank you for my tiny diny. And Tristan, thank you for my, my heart puff. So I applied for it. I should get it hopefully, but I will let you know all for sure tomorrow. I'm just having 8 a.m. It's Saturday morning. So it will be bright and early on Saturday morning. So my poor mods will have to be on standby because we got a lot of, um, we got a lot of, um, we got a lot of shma people, but not nothing bad, nothing bad at all. <laughs> you and me both. Yep, not this Saturday, but next Saturday I will um, I will definitely remind everybody before then. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, I still do the stream Saturday night. That's just kind of like a little bonus stream um, that I do. But I'll definitely keep doing our regular one. Okay, okay. <sighs> I... I actually try to get up fairly early. Okay, we have some shoes thrown around, but I do try to get up fairly early to try to get all my work done, so. But that was the only time slot they had. It, they had like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and 8 a.m. was the only decent one left. Oh, thank you, Candace. I appreciate that. Okay, let's see what we got temperature wise. Thank you. Thank you. I like I said, um, I it's not a huge shop yet, but I am designing each piece individually myself. And I am putting a lot of um, love into it. And um, I have some more stuff that I I'm thinking about. So at each time I put something new in there, I will definitely let you know. Mm. The only game like Call of Duty I've ever played, like a shooter game, is Halo. I love Halo. Thank you, Amy. Okay, what do you think? Do you we can get a bean plushie, and I actually, for the bean plushie, um, I had to send away for a um, for a quote. They could, I couldn't just do it. Now here's my question to you all about the bean plushie. Which bean would you want to do? Would you want to do like the mama bean? Would you want to do like the hug bean? Like the, um, which bean would you want to make into a plushie? The ghost bean? 
Alyssa, thank you for my rose. I appreciate that. The jelly bean one. Because we could do more than one. I could do. Um, I could do like the mama bean, the ghost bean, and then. Um, do we think it's in this room? I'm not a hundred percent sold. Yeah, the jelly bean and the ghost bean, and then the hug, the hug bean, the jelly bean, and the ghost bean, maybe. Yeah. We could do the sleepy bean. I mean, if you all like them, I mean, we can make as many beans as we want. Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, you mean in the game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, had, I had the flashlight next to my monitor, and Robert's asking to borrow the flashlight, and I'm like, you mean the flashlight in my game? He's like, no, the flashlight, like the real one. And I'm like, in the game? He's like, the flashlight near your monitor. And I'm like, ooh. And you know what? Sometimes um, <laughs> sometimes we're all like, don't be a Robert. But y'all have to understand, Robert has to live with me, and I am a... Um, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I will say, uh, in, I'm a little colorful, a, a little quirky, let's just put it that way. Yeah. I'm all like, I don't know if I can like lend you my stuff on the game, but I will certainly give it my best try. Stormy, thank you for the follow. Oh, very cool, Timothy. Like I said, y'all, every day, every morning, I would sit down with my coffee and I would design this stuff. I think quirks make us beautiful. I agree 100%. Yes, Robert's my oldest son. He is my oldest son. All right, so let's go. And then I'm going to come back for the salt and thank you. Kristen, thank you for sharing my live. No, Crystal, thank you. Christy, ah, I get Christy girl, 90, Crystal girl 99, thank you for sharing my live. I knew if I kept on saying it, I would get it right. Nope. I have a, an idea, but I absolutely don't know for sure. So I just wanted to get everything in so I could start narrowing it down. Thank you, Beans. I appreciate that. What's my go-to coffee? I just, I drink black coffee. I don't have any fancy coffee drinks that I drink. Um, so usually it's just straight black coffee. You know, I'm just, I'm just that type of gal. Just straight up, give me my damn coffee. Um, Spooky Bear, of course you can, honey. You can DM me either on TikTok or on, um, on Discord, whichever one you want. I love black coffee. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I'm like, you know what? Just, just give it to me straight. And I love hot chocolate, but it really fills me up. You know, Elizabeth, I didn't see any suggestions. If you, uh, it, can you let me know if, if I missed something? See, it's got to be in here. The temperature's down below, right at zero. So let's go ahead and say that this is the room. And then, because we have some stuff thrown around. Yes, the breaker's out. And this one, I thought I saw a, this one, stuff's getting thrown all around here. 
Hello, Terish. How are you? Where did we see? Ah, Lucky, thank you for my glowing glow, my little glowing jellyfishes. I was going to say my glowing glowfishes, but they're not glowfish, they're jellyfish. I thought we saw a bone around here. Didn't we see one? Because I told myself I was going to come back. Let's go get the breaker. Uh, this one's not in the garage. Screw it. Katie, thank you so much for my cheers. I appreciate you. I thought I saw a hand. Didn't I see a hand? Am I making things up? I thought I saw a hand. I thought I saw a hand. I thought I saw a hand. You know, I, I go between the very first one or Willow. I think both of those are really good. So let's start. Let me just put this in here. Yeah, I do like Willow. Ah, Lucky, thank you for my ducks on parade. I got a mama duck and a baby duck, and I got ducks on parade. We don't have a five yet. Okay. We have a mama duck and a baby duck, and we have ducks on parade. Okay, so where's my dots? Where's my dots? You're throwing enough damn stuff around. Oh! Well, that's... We definitely have a five. I just went out of the damn room. Okay, I just went out of the room. I just went out of the room. Lucky, thank you for my good game and my donuts and my duck song parade. That was really tripping me out, but I have duck song parade. Okay, no ghost riding. This is me being brave. gonna get out of there for a little bit oh my goodness for my roses. I appreciate that, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Let's 
driving me crazy and I'm not even a ghost. All right, let's see what we can do. I was wondering, oh, so anyway, getting back to the plushies, we will definitely have those and I'll let you know as soon as those are done. Like I said, I had to actually, okay, we have orbs. I had to get, um, I had to get a, a, we have freezing temps and we have ghost orbs. Yes, we're going to do a little plushies. We got orbs, everybody. Keychains would be cute. Mm-hmm. I forgot we got a five. Uh-oh. How can that be? Adi, thank you so much for my Henry the Hedgehog. I appreciate you. Mmm. Okay. I have watched The Conjuring. It's one of my favorite. Um, this is called the Pixie Hello Kitty Lip Tone. And it just reacts to the pH in your um, lipstick. And then... Um, a bean plushie, yeah. We're gonna have a ghost bean, a hug bean, and a the jelly bean. Okay, so that scares me. That scares me. So let's not say. All right. I really don't want to go back in, but I'm gonna have to. No, I haven't seen that red rose one. All right, I'm going to go turn on the breaker, put this in there, and see if we can't figure it out. Okay, hear me out. Um, a plushie that comes with a beanie that also fits us. I love that. I think that's a super cute idea. Okay, so let's look and see what we have. We do not have writing. Okay, it's no longer below so let's go ahead go 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 what are you waiting for It got us. Welcome back. Those are hard. Come on, insurance. There you go. I love that insurance. <laughs> it's all about in. Uh, no, we're not going to do a plushie of me, but we will definitely do a plushie, a hugging plushie. No, she's just squeezing me. Definitely, thank God, thank goodness for that insurance. That's the spooky bear. That will be the hug, um, 
I think that will be the... Oh, shit. Look, all my stuff is gone. No, I want my stuff. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going in with nothing. I don't know. Yeah, look at all my stuff is gone. Maybe I just don't have enough money. Or I just don't have enough money for it all. All right, we're going in with nothing. Like my cross, just everything that I've had. I don't know, everybody. They took my stuff away. I think that maybe I used my insurance too much, and they said that I don't get to have any of the cool ghost hunting stuff. So I have, like, shit. There have been new reports of a cursed object nearby. This must be the reason that the ghost was summoned here. Take All right, Jennifer, I'm coming for you. Yeah, like, all of my stuff is gone. Look, all my cool stuff is gone. Maybe if I can get a little bit more money. <laughs> Your name is Jennifer. All right, well, not you, Jennifer. I don't know. I feel like I'm like, I just got like, um, I got demoted at ghost hunting school. It's like trying to, I feel like I've got no, I got nothing. Hello, Jane, how are you? Hello, Jane, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go see if I can't find a ghost with my one and only thing. They didn't. They're like, yo, Lonnie, you know what? We're going to have to revoke your cool ghost hunting skills because you just are a little bit of a disappointment right now. All right, everybody, hydration time. Hydration station. I have an auto buy. I just don't think I had enough money to buy everything. Because I, I upgraded my EMF reader, the little one, for like $3,000. Jane, thank you for my, my heart puffs. My heart puffs. The Afton family, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Sounded like running water. Oh, it's TV's on. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. Let's go back and get one of the other things. Well, let's go back and get only one of the other two things I have. Audrey, thank you so much for the follow. Well, at least I don't have to worry about like um, grabbing too much stuff. That's what I'm thinking, Lucky. I did not turn off the TV, it did. I wonder if the breakers are on. Let's 
check the breakers. All right, let's go down and hit the breaker. As you know, why not? Why not? Whoa, okay, we have that, but I have no camera to actually take a picture of it. And the breaker is somewhere around here. A breaker is something that you have to flip a switch to turn the electricity back on. And it totally creeps me out to walk over the, this thing right here. There, so now we should have electricity again. So let's go back up and see if we can't get a better reading. <laughs> then how come the police say breaker, breaker? That is a very good question that I do not have an answer for, unfortunately. Temperatures are not going down. They're going up, actually. Let's see, let's see. And if you just joined, you can watch the stream. Um, you can turn your phone sideways for a horizontal view or you can watch it regular um, that way. But you can turn your phone sideways if you want. Okay. Definitely not down there. Definitely not in here. I don't think we have found the room yet. Unfortunately. Oh, yours is sideways. Good. Good night, Lizzie. Nope, not over here. Do you think it's in the basement? Ah, thank you, Richie. I know, I know, I feel like I'm being punished. It's like a fuse box, yes. Definitely not down here. The temperature went way up. Hello. Now it's playing the piano. Oh, now it turned on the light. I know. Rabbit, thank you for the follow. Let's see. Oh, Jen. Mm -hmm. EMF five ultraviolet and freezing temps. So let me go get my ultraviolet. <laughs> tonight well I do have my little package of little mini muffins so it's not completely healthy tonight
Because I can't get the temperatures down either. Those are so good. No Encrustables tonight. I actually had um, a rather large lunch and I just wanted a little snack. I am stumped on this one, everybody. Ooh, brain heart, that sounds really good. Look at, there's like no activity either. Janie, thank you for my heart puffs and for hurting me. Odie, thank you all for my Henry the Hedgehog with a little butterfly on his nose. Last Phoenix, thank you for hurting me. The day was good. My ghost hunting's not so great. I'm sorry, Leaf. Hopefully, um, hopefully it, everything is okay and that you're safe. And I miss you, but I totally get it. No, his internet is out. Ooh, a veggie wrap and soup. That sounds good. See, I thought uh, Oreo su sushi would be like Oreos wrapped up in like a Twinkie or something like that. I was, my imagination was going wild on that one. Ducks on parade. Fee Mackie, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate you. You got a mama duck and a baby duck. You got ducks on parade. Oh, it threw some dishes. It's around here somewhere, everybody. I have no salt. I got nothing. Okay. <sighs> Turn on the sink. Okay. Ah, Leaf just sent out a gift sub. Thank you so much, Leaf. I appreciate you. Um, and that went to Kelly. Kelly, congratulations. You just got gifted a sub for one month and then after that if you want to resubscribe that's $2.99 a month but thank you Leaf I appreciate you thank you honey I appreciate you very much when all else fails let's go old school I don't see any orbs Welcome, 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 new beans. Okay. <gasps> Last Phoenix, thank you for my gamer kitty. Thank you so much. And then let's put this one right here. And that's the only place I can think it would be. Come out. Let's shut the door. And let's go see what we can see. 
Hello, Stephanie, how are you? I think a laundry room ghost it. You think it's in the laundry room? Well, I don't see any dots. I don't see any orbs. Turn on the sink in the bathroom. Hello, Ann. How are you? Okay. Okay. This ghost is hiding. <gasps> All right, so we had an event. It never fails to scare me either. Every single time. Well, this is the only last thing I can bring in. Yeah, look, it came at me and then it went. No, it came, it actually sounded like it was coming straight at me. Oh, look. see because I just saw my breast <laughs> we've got ghost hunting surround sound hello Caitlin well we have colder temperatures Every single damn time. Every time it scares me. Okay, well, we got something, everybody. Yep. Oh, what did you do today? Did you do anything fun? It said um, something about coffee. I don't know. It scares me every time. All right. I was as far as I could go. I just didn't turn off my damn flashlight. Welcome back. I've got some job threading for you. Hmm. 
I did not get any insurance either. <gasps> I think my insurance ran out. Katie, thank you so much, honey. <laughs> Laura, I would like to agree with you. I think that that was a very disrespectful ghost. No, I won't have my stuff back, I don't think. Oh, wait, my stuff is back. You're right, it is. I wonder why I didn't have it that time. All right, let's go back. I felt like I had nothing. No, I don't have it. Look, it's not, it's not. I don't know why. Oh, because everything costs $855 and I only have 766. So, but if I have to, let's go ahead. And then I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. And that. And that. So let's see if I can buy that. Let's see if I can buy some of my stuff. Nope. I put back like my incense and the matches and stuff, but it didn't even let me do that. Oh, I didn't press buy. Okay, well, let's go back. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, well, mother, I got nothing. I can't. I have no idea where it went. I have no idea, everybody. I have no idea. Because I'm like down to nothing. I just want a camera. All right, I got nothing. We can just try to go back in. I know. I agree. Let's just go to an easier house and see if I can't win to get some of my stuff back. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa Chaos, for my perfume. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, look, it's all back. That's so weird. Most of it is back. All right, let's just go. Let's go beat up John and try to get our redemption back. That was weird. I know, it's like, I just go on and I just play it exactly how I've been playing it and then all of a sudden it just doesn't work anymore. All right, we have a skull in the dining room, everybody. We have a skull in the dining room. I'm going to start bringing all my stuff in. No, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really give you um, 
any sort of clue as to what you're going to be facing until you start. It's very active, though. It's super active. Look at that. <laughs> you're crazy, Mick crazy. You're you're warning that you're terrible at this. Okay. <sighs> Lisa, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Well, honey, apparently tonight I'm not doing any better, and I got to get a whole lot better. I need to improve my ghost hunting skills. Get out of here. <laughs> ah, stressful, stressful, stressful. Well, I heard I lose it regardless if it's in the house or on my truck. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Oops. Because I heard the phone ring. And that is... Oh, shit. Is going to be right over here. Oh, I don't know why I brought two books in. I think it used to be that way in the earlier games. Yeah. Now, where is that darn phone? Have we ever seen the phone before? Okay, the breaker's on. Breaker, breaker is on. Breaker, breaker is on. Because I heard the cell phone go. It was like, meh, meh. So I know that that's going to be a clue. I don't think the baby has a cell phone. You know, you just never know these days, but I don't think the baby has a cell phone. Breaker, breaker. Meh. See right there, there's the cell phone. And already threw a hat around. Definitely messed up some sheets. Let's turn on the water. Do we have any dropping of temperatures? Okay, we have a little bit of dropping. Dropping, 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 dropping. Yeah, I know, I saw that. It was messing up some sheets. What do you think, everybody? Do you think it's this one? Not a bed ghost. have not picked up anything on the EMF. We are still trying to, I have yet to, I, I think I've only won, oh, there's that. I've only won one game this um, tonight. Oh. It's kind of depressing.
Come on with my new fancy EMF reader. And definitely temps going up here. So far, I think the closest I'm going to have is not this room. It was this room over here. This room over here. I'm just going to set that there for now. I'm going to go take a picture. I did not turn that light on. It's messing with me again. That scared with me. That scared at me. Take a picture of that. Spike, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Let's go check the temperatures. Let's add zero, so I think we have the right room. Oh, Spike, that's so cool, thank you. I really do try to, um, to have an environment of where you can just kind of have a space. Oh, shit. Ah, that made me run. I chopped up an apple tonight. I chopped up an apple, and then I have some little mini muffins. That's really cool, Elizabeth. I need to start doing something like that. I have not been getting up and going to the gym. <gasps> so shame on me. But you know what? I stream until midnight. And then Robert goes to the gym at 4 in the morning. And I'm all like, there is no, there is no way. There is no way I'm getting up at 4. I mean, I don't, I'm going to say no way. But um, I would like to maybe... Like, I don't know, maybe get up and go to the gym with him and then go back to bed. Oh, no, Lucky. I don't know if that was a five or not. No ghost writing. Definitely got some activity. Let's go see if we can get our dots. Now, can you tell more by the sound? So random, Lenny, but is your full-time career gaming and making content genuinely curious? Yes, it is. I've been a full-time content creator now for going on two years. It will be at the end of this month, I'll be going on my third year. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely been, um, you know, it's the thing about social media, and I will always tell everybody, it's absolutely amazing. Gaming is so fun, but it is, you constantly have to be, you constantly have to be kind of rethinking your strategy over and over again, because social media is a constantly changing animal. Constantly. 
which I think is cool. Oh, just walk through there. Okay, so whatever it is, walk, oh shit. Do I have my, my UV? Nope, let's go back with the UV really quick. Let's see. Yeah, I've learned that. Y'all have taught me that much. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and look really quick. We still don't have freezing. Still no ghost writing. Oh my goodness. Standing right there. All right, let's go see what we can see on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there's that. I don't see any orbs. Okay. Yes, I did. I just didn't turn them on, apparently. I'm going to put a second one in there and a second cross in there just so I'm protected. I hope. I didn't turn them on. I, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't because I don't see them. Get out of there, Lonnie, get. Check the mirror. Okay, I will when I go back. Oh, no, man. Just turn the light on. So definitely no orbs. <sighs> okay. Megan, thank you for my team bracelet. I appreciate that. Otter, thank you for hearting me. We don't have any of those yet. <sighs> I 
We have no evidence so far. No, we don't. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you for my shiny air balloons. You make me feel so good with my shiny air balloons. I appreciate you. Wasn't that pretty? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's go back in and see if we can't shake this guy up a little bit. Shiny air balloon. Shiny air balloon. I mean, Jiminy Crickets. I got everything in here. So nothing on the mirror. Just throwing stuff over here. Oh, we have that. Ooh, look at that handprint. That's nasty. Ooh. I will. Oh, did you see it walk by? Just yucky stuff on the mirror. Oh, where's that camera? He moved my camera, too. Where'd the jerk throw my camera? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I am. I'm going. Think they, I thought I checked the camera. It might be. All right. So the camera is backwards. Okay. No orbs in the bathroom. Melissa, thank you for hearting me. Okay, that's correct. Still no freezing temps, so let's go see what we can see. Okay, so how do you make that ghost start coming outside the house? You don't. As soon as I get through that front door, I am safe. Okay, so definitely no orbs, no orbs there. Mm. Did you see it? Did you see the dots? Well, there it goes again. We definitely have dots. Whoa, what's it doing? I mean, it's running all around. Okay, so we have dots. 
So it's either a phantom or it's uh, the other one. And the phantom is the ultraviolet spirit box. I've been using the spirit box and we do not have one. And then the Yoro one is the EMF5. You think it's a phantom? Melissa, I'm doing good today. How are you? Ah, thank you again for hearting me. Um, no, Stitch, I, I, um, I have, I'm not going to be playing scrutinized again. I did not care for the content. The phantom is a ghost that can possess the living, inducing fear into the around it. They are most commonly summoned from the Ouija boards. Looking for a phantom will drop your sanity considerably faster. Weakness, take a photo of the phantom. It will di temporarily disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Stitch, it was just something that I just figured out today. Um, I was actually playing it trying to get a little bit better and the content the more I played it the more they were talking about things that were really disturbing like hurting animals and small children and I just I, I couldn't play that I, I can't I can't do stuff like that so I had to make the decision oh it has an orbs look we have orbs now look at that we have orbs Yeah, I'm glad I went back to check. Yeah, Amy, you know what? And that was it exactly. Um, because um, it's just, I mean, it was, it was a good, a banshee. So a banshee is, A banshee, this, oh, but it's not, it hasn't sung. Oh, scrutinized. Scrutinized was, excuse me, um, um, they don't always sing. Okay. A mimic is a spirit box, ultraviolet, and freezing temperatures, and I do not, because we already have, um, the dots and the um, orbs, so they don't always sting. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with Banshee because we have some extra credit. I'm at 58%. Let's go with Banshee, yeah. Okay. All right, let's try it, and let me make sure I got it. Let's try it and see if we got a win. I don't know, everybody. Let's give it a go. So yeah, if I'm going to be playing a video game, I don't want to be sitting there and be cringing over the content. And so I was kind of bummed about that because I thought it had a lot of good potential. Okay, we got some money again. So now let's look and see. So I have $396. So the next time we go back in, I definitely want my photo camera. I don't need, I'm going to, I want to try to save my money. So I'm going to, I'm not going to take that. I just want my flashlight, my crucifix. I do want one of these though. Nope. But I will take one of those and one of those. So...
That's the shop storage right there. Yeah, I grabbed that sage stuff. I've been doing homework all day and this is a nice change. Well, awesome, I'm glad you're here. Um, Melissa, I'm getting better. I did not have the best run tonight, but I'm going to be playing this more because I definitely want to make sure that I um, get better because in about a week and a half next, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I'm going to be playing on, um, I'm going to be playing on a TikTok gamer lounge for an hour and I'm playing Phasmobia. Phas, Fabmafo, Fab, what, why can't I say it? Phasmophobia, Phasmophobia, Phasmophobia. That's what I'm playing. <gasps> okay. All right. Let's go play some Firewatch, and then if we have more time, we'll come back and we'll play this. Um, I upload all of these, and I put all of these on YouTube. Um, Georgia, it's going to be just like I did last weekend, where it will be the regular stream. So it starts, it, it will be between 8 and 9, so I'll jump on about 7.30. And then we'll just play like regular for a couple of hours. The only thing that you'll see different is, um, the only thing that you're gonna see different is that there'll be more people in. That will really be the only thing. All right, let's go play some Firewatch because I'm really very curious to see what happens. Let's leave game. Let's leave the game. Welcome back. I'm gonna leave the game. I'll still be playing by myself. It will be just like what we regularly do. I am. I was playing Phasmophobia, and now we're gonna go over and play some Firewatch. This is such a cool game. All right, you ready? Oh, definitely skin on my apples. Okay. Oh, I know. I can't wait to do Killer Frequency again, too. Okay, so yesterday they reported that there was somebody up in my watchtower. But when I got up here, I couldn't see anybody. Oh, look at the, um, the fireworks are kind of moving. I wonder if there's somebody in there hiding. I didn't think about that yesterday. I don't see anybody in there, do you? Um, thank you, Wisdom. All right, I don't see anybody. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Did she say he was just there or she was just, no, he was just there. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. He was just there, okay. I don't see anybody and it won't let me go in. Ah, Megan and Finn, I'm, I am so sorry that you have, I mean, I, I hope that you feel better and I'm glad that you're here.
Something was taped to the door. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you for seeing that. It's not, oh. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. Oh. oh no. We are screwed. Yes, no. you are. See, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? She's freaking out. If you missed yesterday, it's um, it's going to be uploaded to my YouTube in about 30 minutes. going us us what's this us you're the boss i was just what following orders but you know i didn't start this fire so you just tell them the truth right that's all you can do yeah i suppose you're right i know see i'm still mad that she um she faults the she falsified the whole report with the missing girls Remember, he told her to tell them the truth, and she's the one that lied. Scully, I usually just have one, one or two. See, the thing is, y'all, I never forget when somebody screws me over, and she screwed me over on that one. All right. So we're going back to the cave. And the cave is, we're here, and I'm going down. Okay, going down this way. I typically, I mean, I'm pretty structured when it comes to my, my eating routine. So I try to keep it that way. Otherwise I find myself totally overeating and over snacking throughout the day. This is called fire watch. And we are, we are basically in a mystery of a whole lot of things. And I made the wrong turn, which is not the first time. This is why it takes me so long to play this game, is I'm always making the wrong turn. I always make the wrong turn. Okay. 
Uh, it's actually a really cool game. I do like this game a lot. So let's go ahead. Let me just pause this for a minute because I want to change this to other games. Um, okay. Um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Actually, I was looking to see where my ranking was, and I'm close to the top 100, but I'm, I'm not there yet. But we'll get there. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, and are we back? Yes, now we're back, and we're going to go this way. Ah, Lucky, thank you for my airdrop. Thank you for my airdrop. I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Nope. I got this one. Oh, wait, no, that was Elizabeth. Am um, I sorry? I am so sorry. Elizabeth, thank you for my airdrop, honey. Like he's like, you're welcome. Not a problem. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you so much. All right, we're back on the right path. And let's go ahead and drop down. I know, but still, I just wanted to say sorry. I just wanted to say sorry. First rule of being club, you never have to apologize. But it would have been rude of me just to have ignored and just been like, tja. I appreciate you all. Put down as someone who is inspiring me to... Um, Oh, you put me down as someone who inspired me today in your journal. Oh, my gosh, that is so cool. Thank you. And I absolutely take that as such a huge compliment. So thank you so much. I appreciate you very much for letting me know. Okay. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. You know I didn't. Um. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. See, the cool thing about this game is we can play this over again and answer it in different ways, and we will have a completely different game. And I absolutely love that about it. Okay, everybody, hydration station. We have not had very many today. So let's go ahead and hydrate, please. So important. <laughs> Lucky, so long as it's liquid and it's going down your pie hole, that's all that matters. Yes, toasting your Uncrustable is life-changing. Okay, so let's look again. Ah, Terish, thank you for my high bear which is your first gift on TikTok. And thank you for loving me because I love you too. Okay, we're almost there, everybody. 
almost there. Okay, there it is right there. Ah, Lucky, thank you so much for giving a uh, gift sub. And Kyle Pace, you just got a free gift sub for one month. After this month, if you would like to resubscribe, it's two ninety nine a month. So welcome to the Bean family. Okay, let's see what we got here, everybody. What the hell? I just got locked in. Jesus, this is a big cave. I'll throw a Find a way. I, I don't think I can. Because I can't drop down there. So let's climb back up. Is there any other way around? I can't. Th Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, <laughs> send someone to the cave, please. I'm starting to panic in the cave. Oh, this is called Firewatch. And this is like my fear besides spiders getting locked into a cave. Angel, how are you feeling? It's actually a really cool game. I love this game. Besides the um, a little bit of F-bombs here and there, and another part that I will um, and another part that I will definitely censor out, we are gonna be playing this one again. All right, go, 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 Henry. Yeah, squeeze. Yeah, lucky me too. I, I do not like, um, I, I'm a little claustrophobic. Jump. Okay, keep going. Keep going, my friend. It's freezing in here. I wonder why it's a cave. I have that um, wake up filthy or yeah wake up filthy I have it in my wish list and so we will be playing that one it's it's in my um, it's already in my cart I thought it was such a beautiful looking game and we are definitely playing that one it's on the list okay dude Wee through the tiny little hole. I ne know we were going to be cave dwelling. Um, Dusk Falls. Okay, I'll put that on the list. Um, Elizabeth, I looked up some cat games and I didn't see anything that really stood out. So, but they have a new goats um, simulator coming out soon, which looked hilarious. <laughs> Paige, I, Paige, I did. Did I sing happy birthday to you yesterday, Paige? Did I? Did I? Did I? We have so many birthdays this month. I love it. <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paige. Happy birthday to you. You're a bean with a birthday. You're a bean with a birthday. Happy birthday, dear Paige. Happy birthday to you. Caitlin, I know I sang happy birthday to you yesterday, but I'll sing it to you again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caitlin. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? 
No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No. no. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. That doesn't sound dangerous. Well, do you have any better idea, honey? Because you're just up there in your little tower sending me to do all the hard work. Where am I? So, Jiminy Crickets, I'm all the way there. So, I have to... I'm assuming go this way. So I have to go, I want to go south, kind of south, south, which way south? Southeast, I kind of want to go that way. Can I go that way? Nope, I'm gonna have to go around. I know, lots of birthdays. I'm going to have to do a special birthday bean so that way everybody who has birthdays can get a little birthday bean celebration. Oh my gosh, Paige, that was like my dream come true. What's all this stuff? Oh, what's this stuff? We found a hideout. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Oh, the yeah. missing hiker guy. He built himself a real castle. So a little banner. Okay. I'm going to the I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles away from my house. We are going to try to talk at a regular time, but my um, hypothesis is that that won't work and we will have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish communication. Oh, that's interesting. So this is... Pack my contents, my rope, and camera. Which is that? Oh, a rope, a counterweight, a pulley. Backpack retrieval plan. So he was trying to get his backpack back. Oh, do you remember these? I remember these when I was a kid. I always um, colored those in. Brian Goodwin, yep. Yep, we found his backpack, yep. I remember that. And it had the, um, it had the it had the um, camera in it. So what we want to do is I want to see what's, ooh, a bundle of, oh, like little um, climbing things. Explore deeper into the cave. Oh, now I can, um, 
I can explore deeper. Interesting but wrong, not conventional, past maximum voltage. Let's hold on to this. Um, oh. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. Bye, Ace. I'll see you tomorrow. That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half <laughs> elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. So we're gonna keep this. stacked up you made a wall and a perimeter yeah oh, God. yeah that's that's perfect you know maybe he made it i might i never really thought about it them. Uh, whenever i think of brian possibly going through this crap i get i get sick to my stomach yeah uh, sorry it's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here well maybe they were in a hurry when they left like i said he wasn't supposed to be out here yeah i almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Oh, so she knew that the kid was out here, but she didn't do anything about it. She's always lying. Okay, so the poor kid. Okay. It's a dinosaur. Elizabeth, thank you for my little Henry and his little butterfly friend. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so now I can go back because I got those climbing things. I think I can go back and climb down there. Keep the dino. Okay. Can I keep it? There's a couple of people that have played it. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate you. Um, it's raining and it's cold, but it's nothing, it's nothing horrible that um, so far for us, it's nothing too, too bad. So let's go back down and see if
I think, can I get back in there? Oh, wow. If you, f if you find that game, can you let me know? Because I've really enjoyed this game. Because it says, explore deeper into cave. So now I have to find the entrance to the cave that I just came out of. Oh, there it is right there. I can't go back this way. Okay. Circling back around then. Circling back around to... To the main cave entrance. same way that we have been doing everything I think just go in whichever way we think we can I know there's one coming out this month called Pacific Drive which looks a lot like this one um, oh, that I already have that one purchased and we're going to be playing that one I have the Stanley Parable. We're going to be playing that one um, later this week. I got the Ultra Deluxe one, I think. Nope, nope, nope. Go down, dude. Lake? Okay. Yeah, I, we already looked at all the stuff up there. So he was a sad kid that um, used to go up there and hang out and wave at planes. Oh, good. Yeah, no, it looked really fun. We're going to be doing that one. Um, I think we're going to start that one either on Wednesday or Friday. So Lake has bad words. Is that the one? find out what do you think whatever it is they don't want you telling anyone about I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now uh, a hatchet god are you sure you want to go back in there no but honestly i just i just want to know I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been okay, done to us. Okay, I'll read it. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Cat, thank you for my roses. And Andrea, thank you for my tiny diny. Thank you, everybody, for all your suggestions. I always look into them, and I appreciate you. Oh, good. Looks like you didn't kill him. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Okay, hold on. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. I don't think so.
Um, I have, Sage, I have played one ins Insomnia, um, but I am not going to be playing any more of those due to content. They have got some nasty stuff in that, and I, I'm not going to be losing my, um, my TikTok over that. So unfortunately, it's kind of hard, y'all, to actually get a game that is um, spooky and content friendly for my channel. But it's, it's not impossible. It's just a little um, challenging. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I did rebirth and that kind of gave me a glimpse at what they have and I I did rebirth I won't be doing any of the other ones oops I'm off the trail I do that a lot too I agree lucky I agree and when we can find one that is just good old like suspense like fears to fathom or something like that, I definitely um, will be jumping on that one and doing it. I had crazy I'm a llama cat. I try to stay on the trail. I just end up going all over the place. You know me. I just go wandering all over. Um, oh, very cool. Thank you, everybody. And I do look into each and every single one of your suggestions that you send. And I appreciate them all. Uh, but yes, very, very scary games without gore is a lot more scarier. I agree. And that's why I've started going more for like psychological th thrillers um, than actual horror content. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've been warned kind of what this is, I think. Cat, thank you for my roses again. Okay. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah, I know. We got the cash box the first time we went into the cave. We've, we. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that um, the first time we went into the cave and looked around, we got it, but I'll double check. Yeah, see the, um, everything is off. Yep. Nope. We already got that one. Hey, Lonnie, have you seen Project 13? It has, I have, and I, again, think it has, unfortunately, a lot of unnecessary content that is, um, that is um, gory, you know? You can have an anomaly game without somebody bashing their head against a window. And so, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit too PG-13, but I just didn't find it all that exciting. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's how we're getting down. Oh, very cool. We will definitely look into that one. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I've heard about that. There's a lot of violence in um, Detroit Becomes Human. Uh, violence in language. I can handle language so long as everybody's cartoons. It seems to make the language not as bad. All right, we're 
are going all the way down. All right, everybody. Um, I think we found Brian or the little. Oh, shit. We found the missing hiker kid. Oh, wow. No, we're not going to play that one. Caitlin, yes, it's the link is in my link tree. I'll put it on Discord. Um, I'll put it on Discord tomorrow morning, but right now I just have it in the uh, link tree that's in my bio. So we don't have any camera recept or any, um, we don't have any radio down here, I don't believe. Let's see what's over here. Let's keep going. It looked like he was repelling down here and maybe like it looked like the rocks kind of gave away. That's what it kind of looked like to me. Okay, let's get out of here. I still can't figure out what they're doing, um, what they're doing at the facility and who's trying to frame who and how everybody knows what's going on. I still so I still have just as many questions right now as I did when we started. Thank you everybody for all your likes, your shares, for tapping that. Thank you for all the gifts that you've given. I appreciate all of you, all your subscriptions. I appreciate every single one of you. Del yeah, you know what? Oh, look at that's the entrance right there. Spooky Bear is a cute username. See, it seems like she's always trying to like cover her own behind for some reason. I mean, she just has a tendency to not be very truthful. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. W what's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Um, whoever did it is out there. Whoever is out there did it. They killed him. Can we just put this stupid shit aside for a minute? That boy is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. I don't know. 
What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? This is Firewatch. No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. Ah, squeak subscribe. I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I there's 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 nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Thank you, Squeak, for subscribing. Thank you for being my bean. Thank you, Squeak, for subscribing and being number 1187. I love you so much, and Squeak, thank you for being my bean. Emma, thank you for my rose, honey. I appreciate that. Pack up belongings. Okay. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. So is this the Flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Who's still okay. listening to you? Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. What? I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably going to move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Yeah. I, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. <sighs> Forget it. She's still me. only thinking about herself. That's all she does is thinks about herself. It does remind me of Iron Bark. You know, she's just like, whatever, you know. This like whole fire thing freaks me out. Okay, I'm trying to follow this. If this, if we're close to the ending on this, I don't know how long it's going to take us, but um, we can always play Iron Bark again if you want. Hello, hello, Kaylin, how are you? I know I'm trying to pick up the signal again. I couldn't walk past the rock. Oh, I am? Okay. get through here and see which way to go. 
Considering I'm always getting lost, this might take longer than we think. Oh no! Well, Kaylin, you were here with us. You are not alone. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kaylin. Happy birthday to you. You're not alone. You have a bunch of beans. We love you and you're not alone. You don't have to have someone sitting right there in front of you to be oh somebody. Can I jump down again? <sighs> so it's that way. Let's go around. Oh, wow. So many February birthdays. Emma, 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 thank you for my rose, Emma. Look at me going the right way. Oh, yours was January 23rd. Happy birthday, happy late birthday. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. I don't know, y'all. Something tells me she's going to leave him behind. Because I don't trust her. I think she sent him off on a wild goose chase. So then that way, he's not going to get evacuated. That's what I think. Oh, there is one called Exit Run. Yep, very suspicious. Uh. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. He does know too much. I think it's going to be like He's going to get there and it's going to be like a transmitter that she planted and then she's only going to get evacuated. And then everything that he learned um, will be, you know, it stays with him. Let's see what we see. What is it? Oh. Oh. Let's yeah, see what it is. Henry. Yeah, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. What? You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. After bumping into you back in May, down by the cave for Croc's sake. Oh, he's the one that bonked years, him on the head, right? I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit out. 
house with you two. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Yeah. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. I've got so many questions. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin. He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Yeah. Okay. Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Yeah, there was a we. That's like, you know, that's not a he thing. And so... Okay, so, wow, look how far I have to go. Because I'm here. Okay, so I need to come up to Thunder... Ugh. Starting to panic. How do I get out of here? There are multiple endings. Um, oh, wait, what's this? That's why I'm saying we can play this again and pick different answers and then have like a completely different story, I think. Oh, was this his camp? Oh, yeah, this was his camp. Yeah, I definitely we'll do this again, Elizabeth. And since we're having more cozy games, I was thinking we'll play Stray again here soon. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Hello? I did like this a lot. There's a clothesline. Why isn't she answering? out everybody this is like research site info oops return borrowed equipment erase H and D evidence leave no trace behind <gasps> research site info Staff returns August 10th. So he already knew that they were going to be gone. I think, yeah. I think she's gone too. This is the same wizard ones, the role-playing book.
sleeping bag from the teen's campsite. Report draft. Subject Delilah, age 43. Program status review. Oh, wow, that's weird. Um, subject Delilah, um, observation traits, reliable, observant, chariz chariz charismatic, 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 I can't pronounce that, selfish, um, skewed perception of personal history, permanent obser observed fact, never am, oh, Um, socks, new boots, duct tape, dry elk skin, summer weight, gangle, 35 pounds. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. She's not answering, dude. That's the same bear as the teens. He had quite the view. station up here he was listening to us on that birthday first saw saw first ranger of the year haven't left base in two weeks three weeks stir crazy big hike tomorrow to cave look out henry saw 2f coming out of cave decalling her hikers list delay her she'll forget Weird. He wrote down everything he did to us and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. <laughs> oh, she is. She is. She's there. Jules, Julian, Julia. He's a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. Drunk again. Oh, Delilah was drunk again. I had a feeling she was drinking. Uh, don't want to leave. Remember, hide supplies for migration. Suspect cons conspiracy funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Okay, so what do you think, everybody? I think we should try to get to the helicopter. Bear, we're going to be playing this one again. And basically what it is, is um, I'm a fire watch person. And we are, um, we were tr trying to solve um, we were trying to solve a mystery. West, east, north. <laughs> it owns a boba store. I need to 
go north. I tried that new cat game, Cat Shenanigans, about babysitting some cats, and that one, um, I did not care for it. It was not very good gameplay. How do I get out of here, everybody? I think I have to go back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Georgia. You know how it always just kind of makes you go back and go the long way around? I think it's kind of doing that. I think I have to go back down and then go, because I'm kind of stuck on this observation post, so I'm pretty sure I have to go back down. Sherry, thank you for my hearting me and my finger heart. And Sarah, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's get down here. So I'm right here. And I need to go all the way up there. So I think I really don't know what the best way is, everybody, but I'm sure going to try to get us there. Let's turn around and go the other way and see if we can't. I know. Or at least we need those little handrails so we know we stay on the path. See where we at. Okay, so let's go around. Let's get to cash number 306 and then we'll go straight up. Oh, let's just go ahead and climb up here while we can. I'm trying, Lucky, I'm trying. Every day, every day. Yes, I will. I started... Uh, I try to start at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so I'm right there. So let's keep going. Terrifying Tuesdays. The spook without the, all the gore. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was okay. sweet. Delilah, I, I think it was an accident. I don't think 
Med, med wants to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Well, yeah, you should have done the right thing a while back. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't tell the truth when they asked you. You didn't send him home. Just gotta live with it, Delilah. It won't be that hard. If you say so. <laughs> yep, going the wrong way. Hey. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. <gasps> uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. No! I pushed the wrong button. I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would I be... I thought there was a question mark behind go. Yeah. Hey, right. Hey, uh, um, you sure that's okay? I said it was. Go. Have a safe flight. All right, have a safe hike. Shit, I wish I could go back. Okay, the other cache is up here. Do you see the other box around here? Oh, there it is. But we already opened this one up. Okay. So we already opened that one. So we're right here. So I'm wondering... I got to go up, everybody. See if I make I'm sure I'm going to the right place. I'm trying to stay on a path because otherwise I'm just going to be screwed. Right, I know. I'm trying to stay on a path. I'm going to go on the path, and then I'm going to make a left, and I'm going to go straight up. Because if I start going off a path, I'm just going to end up in rocks. So there's my... There's my lookout. And then I'm going to go around here, and then I'm going the other way. So now let's start going this way. Good night, Angel. I hope you feel better, hon. This is how we do it. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to drop down, and then we're going to figure out which way to go. Okay, Scully, I'll be here. Alex, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Sherry, thank you so much for my finger hearts and my roses. Thank you.
Okay. So we're going the right way, everybody. I believe we are going the right way. And that should go ahead and go back. Okay, let's figure out where we go. Uh, Lauren, thank you for my marvelous confetti, honey. Thank you. Thank you for my marvelous confetti. I think you are marvelous too. I appreciate you. All right, let's get going. And another little switchback. This is Firewatch, yes. Trying to get us the heck and heck out of here. I think the second time we play this, we'll know a little bit more about the story and we can kind of take a little, and I'll know a little bit more about the, the terrain. So we will definitely be able to kind of get a little bit more into the story and not really worried about just trying to stay trying to stay unlost yarn moth thank you so much for hurting me jade thank you for my high bear and thank you for my ice creams i appreciate that oh now i'm in the cave Let's come out this way. No, why am I in the cave? Why am I in the cave, everybody? Okay, the storyline is, is that, okay, so I'm just going to go straight up now. So I'm going to go straight northwest. I am a fire, I'm at a fire watch person and I'm trying to unravel a mystery. And the lady who I was talking to, I'm not too sure if she left me behind or not. Um, it's, I think it's almost over. I think we almost have completed this, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right, well, I'm going to go to the other one then. Because I got turned around yet once again. There's another trail up here I'll take. And that trail is right here. See, there's more wind. There's more than one way to get there. <sighs> You're making bad choices. It is eight o'clock where I'm at. Okay, so let's keep going. Eight o'clock where I'm at. Let's keep going. Brainheart, thank you very much for sharing my life. Okay, so let's see where I'm at. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Come on, dude. You can do this. Hello, Charmander. How are you? Look, I'm on the path, everybody. I know sometimes I get a little, I get a little off the path, but I'm on the path. All right, come on, dude, you can make it. Okay. 
Go, go, go. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. Come on, you got it. I'm like so stressed out now. Kind of got off the path a little bit, so let me see if I can find it. Trying to find the path again. All right, I think I'm on it. All right, phew, I'm getting better at navigating. Yes, it's smoke and I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to get evacuated. dude you can do it okay let's go let's go Yeah, great. It's actually really cool. I've I've enjoyed playing this immensely. Okay, I've gotten off the path a little bit, but we will find our way back. We're still going pretty much in the right direction. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, did she change? Okay, this should be the same one. Okay. Okay. It says, I went to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for um, lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock um, having himself in that um, hammock? I started to think the Forest um, Service only picks the deranged and the perverted, except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Suspicious. What do you think of that? There's my rope. That could be very well too. Maybe he's maybe he's completely delusional and he's making this all up. Cuz remember he had that weird dream where he thought he was his wife was calling.
Oh, Jinx, yeah, no, this has been a really cool game. So we need to go... Okay, so this is the way we're going. Oops. Did I get off the path? Kinda, but I think I'm on it. Come on, dude, you got it, you got it. Oh, here's that tram thing. Jim, how are you, honey? Jen, this is such a cool game. I don't know why Delilah's not answering, but... Doing good, honey. Because she don't care. Oh, I don't have my map anymore. Uh-oh. This is the evac spot, but my map is gone. Uh-oh. Let's go up and see what's going on. Hello, toasted. Oh, toasted bagel. How in the heck and heck are you? Okay, this is Delilah's lookout all right now we're at her lookout it is a really cool game How do I get in? Oh, there's the door. So this is Miss Delilah's stuff. She left, yeah. That's where she's been calling them. Hello, is anybody there? Oh, look at she, you, Henry. Yeah, it's me. She I'm answered. Back to the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. That's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation mm -hmm. like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented... One fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. All right, sure. Um, maybe. Um, no. Come to Boulder, 
Um. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Yeah, go to Santa Fe. Change emporium with your sister. Could be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation. I mean, yeah. No, we are not inviting her. So, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia. Mm hmm And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, am. Um, yeah. You gotta go see her. Mm. Yeah, sure. It's still your wife, hey, dude. I I hope somebody rescues us. Take it back. Maybe I should have done. We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? <laughs> yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They're so good. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Bye, Hank. So at least Hank doesn't get left behind. I hope. Thank you for my hand hearts. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, honey. Questions. I have so many questions. Okay. We are playing this again next week. All right. And I think. I think personally, I think that since I don't get lost as much, I think we will be fine. Um, playing it all in one day. So let's. Um, <sighs> let's, yeah, let's think about it. I'll let you know. I'll give you the schedule, but we are definitely playing this game again because I am not leaving the ending like that. Mm -mm. Firewatch Friday. No, we have to do. Um, we have to do killer frequency. Yeah. Yeah, if you have any answers, I'd love to hear them. All right. So since we're all about lookouts, let's go ahead and let's see how long have I been on for three and a half hours. I thought she left him and was not going to pick him up. I thought he was going to be like some No. Yeah, the desert watch guy in the yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, everybody, let's play another one. Let me figure out which one I want to do. Let's figure out which one I want to do. Let's figure this one out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what I want to play, but we're going to play something. We're not playing Scrutinize. We're not doing that one. 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 So let's do a Fears to Fathom. And we will do Iron Bark. I just don't feel like playing a goose game tonight. I'm not in the right mood to, to honk and move around things. Good night, Squeak. Good night. Nothing, nothing that, I mean, it, truthfully, it's a really cute game, but I'm just not in the mood to, to be messing around with a goose right now. That's all. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah. Lucky, this is basically just like what we just saw, where the guy goes up to a fire um, iron bark, and he has to um, he had it he has some spooky stuff happen to him. So I am going to I'm not gonna yeah Poppy playtime. We're we're not doing Poppy. I that's just not in my wheelhouse of play. So I am going to use the restroom and then we're going to come and we're going to do our fears to fathom. So hold on, everybody go take a, um, we are in a tower moment. Yes, we are. Okay, everybody grab some snacks, get some water and I will be right back. Oh, cool, Angie. This is the only time I've done a full play. I mean, the second time I've done a full playthrough. So let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's get this going. Hello, Fonty, how are you? All right. Episode four.
I'm doing good. Doing good. And so again, this is based off of a true story. And he says that this happened to him when he was about 24. He says, it feels kind of weird telling anybody about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. Mm -hmm. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. But as I'm writing this, this is the scariest experience of my life. No, this is a game. It says, I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. Good night, Caitlin. Happy birthday again. Um, I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with lots of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, although since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling, I said, I said a few goodbyes and was off to my new location. It was about a two hour drive. And Lonnie gets to drive again. And somebody, apparently I text and drive. So Kayla says, um, how's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today of all days. Is it, isn't it late? If you don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Hello, Andrea, how are you? I'm just driving along, everybody. I lived a very solitary life. It helps keep the mind quiet, keeps the memories at bay. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at me go, look at me go. Oh, I just passed an RV without crashing. I'm just getting better at driving too. Um, it says, I said, no, why? I said, I remember there was a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use some good meal before the start, um, staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Andrea, thank you so much for subscribing. Andrea, you are my new baby bean. Welcome to my family. You are a subscriber 1,158. But I love you oh so much. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Oh, here comes the town. Where do you think this diner is? The music's in the game. This is me. This is me playing my music in my RV. Okay, here's the diner. I'm making myself a little car sick, but I'm okay. And I'm going to. Park right here. 
that bush over, but. Ladies and gentlemen, that was your successful driving for today. Oh, except I think I blocked myself in. Nope, I'm okay. All right, let's go get a, let's go get some lunch. I did it, Chelsea, I know. We were all in the back, my baby beans, but I love the simple fact that I have an RV and you all can fit in there. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's gonna steal my RV. Oh, let's go talk to this person. How's that burger? Oh wait, how's that burger? This little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? There's only like five people that live here. You'd probably know if I lived here or not. Um, I'm just passing through. Have a safe journey. That burger is about as big as your head. Yep. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, Alicia, well, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad you're chilling. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's go in here. Well, hello there. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Okay. So here's a little fun fact about me. If I'm in a restaurant, I cannot eat with my back to the door. I have to face the window. Or I have to face the door. It freaks me out. So I could not sit in this seat because I could not see who's coming through that door. So I say, <laughs> yeah, Jen, I know. And just jokingly, I say it's all those years I spent um, in prison, but I've never been in prison. So um, that's kind of like my joke. We play way too many horror games, yeah. Yo, I'm planning on starting streaming on here. Um, can I DM you for, to get tips, etc., on how to show my game live? Yeah, honey, absolutely, not a problem. Just go ahead and um, DM me. Um, hello, Janice. Good evening. I'm Barbara, which, by the way, was my mother's name. Are you ready to order? Well, yes, Barbara, I am. Thank you so much for coming over here and asking me. So, what can I get for you today? A cheeseburger with fries, a grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, or a meatball sub with chicken nuggets. And I will let you all decide on what we're eating in the game today. So we are either gonna eat a cheeseburger, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, or a meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Gracie, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. See, I'm definitely, I say, stay vegetarian, yeah. Quick and start, quick and quick start. Thank you for the follow. Grilled cheese, yeah. Okay, we are going um, grilled cheese, uh, grilled cheese with onion rings because that's really truthfully what I eat for lunch. So we are going with a. We're grilling the cheese. Would you like anything? Do you want a large Coke, a coffee, or a strawberry slushy? Well, I would love a chocolate milkshake, but that's not on here. Brooke, this is called Fear to Fathoms, and this is the Iron Bark one. This is the Iron Bark episode. Um, <sighs> no milkshakes. I Yeah, but I wouldn't. It's going to be because I personally, um, I personally would have a cup of coffee. So I'm thinking a coffee and a water. You would have a slushy, a grilled cheese sandwich, and onion rings. Are you all insane? You would have a strawberry slushy with a grilled cheese sandwich and onion rings? There is not one thing about that sentence that makes this sound yummy. Yes, you are insane. Because it sounds horrible. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's between the slushy and the Coke. 
heart attack incoming exactly, Danny. Uh, if we're going to be on the road. Cannot tolerate a milkshake. Oh, yes. Uh, be right back. Okay. Coffee, 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 Coke, Coke. Um, uh. All right, Elizabeth, I'll let you pick. Um, I'll let Elizabeth pick because she does such a good job moderating. So Elizabeth gets to pick. Yeah. All right, Elizabeth, it's all on you. I, she's like, she's like, oh my God, the pressure, the pressure. I don't know what I can choose. Izzy, thank you so much for the rose. Elizabeth, no pressure. What are we ordering? <laughs> Most people are saying Coke, so let's go with that, but I would choose coffee. <gasps> well, then we have to say coffee because this is your choice. This is your reward for uh, being such a great mod. And Jen, be on standby because you're making the next big decision. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all. That's it. Um, that will be all thank you because I'm always very polite when I am in a when I'm in a restaurant I treat them so, I treat everybody so polite I treat everybody the way I want to be treated until you piss me off and then I don't treat you nice so I'm gonna say that will be all thank you very much Barbara great I'll bring the food just let me know if you need anything else sounds good I appreciate that <laughs> Jen's all like ee! I've always had this bad habit of peeing before eating. No, I don't think that's a bad habit. I actually think that that's a good habit. So, pie, yes, we would definitely, Charlie, of course we would need pie. All right, now the only thing about the Fear to Fathoms game is that they make them going to the bathroom very um, realistic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I was gonna have to put the toilet seat up, but there you go, there I am going to the bathroom. I will see if we can do that exotic. I th look at no hands. I am an expert person doing this. I was not expecting that either. I thought I was gonna lift up the toilet seat and then give a little warning, um, but I really had to go to the bathroom. All right, can I wash my hands? I wash my hands. Okay, so I washed my hands. And I just opened it up with my elbow because I'm all weird about germs and it's okay to have... Oh, no! I don't want the door to be open. Oh, now I have to watch the, um, the door open. All right. <sighs> this is me. I picked the worst seat because I have to sit here and eat and look in the bathroom. Oh, here comes Barbara. Everybody set up. Barbara's coming. Okay. Oh, well, that looks good. Okay, I got my onion rings, my coffee, and my grilled cheese sandwich. So if you turn up your volume, you can hear me chewing. Doesn't look bad. All right, now I'm gonna eat my onion rings, which I would never do it this way. I am not the type of person to eat just one thing and then another. It'd be like a bite of sandwich, and then a little bit of an onion ring, then I would put it in the dip, and then I'd have some coffee. Lee, thank you so much for my heart puffs. I appreciate you. Um, Lee says, Lonnie, hope you and all the beans have had a great day. Yeah, it's been a really nice day. Thank you. Okay. Um, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. And yes, it is. Sarah, yes, you got gifted a bean subscription. So now you are a subscriber for one month. And then after the one month, if you want to resubscribe, it's $2.99 a month. Okay, told you. Says I, I say, this food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. And then she says, wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send it to you in a bit. Um, Maya, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, no. I'm going to. I'm drinking my coffee. I got to drink my coffee. I drank my coffee black. 
All right, so I think I finished everything and I'm feeling good. I feel like I can fin finish this drive. Oh, look it. Finally, somebody's going into the bathroom and sh ooh, seemed a little abrupt when he was shutting the bathroom door. He was just like, wham, that's it, I'm done. Okay, here comes Barbara, everybody, be nice. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? I'll take the check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks, Barbara. It won't let me consume the dip, that's why. Yeah, it is a cool game. I like it. The chili got to him. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate this. Here's the check. Your total is $6.60. I either pay $6.66 or with a 15% tip. But since I am such a good tipper, I'm going to give her a 50% tip. Good night, Crazy Llama Cat. Keep us all updated on how you're doing tomorrow. Um, thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, you're welcome, Barbara. Give the tip because why not? Okay, let's go see if we can talk to people. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron... Uh, I'm going up to Iron Bark and I'm going to go look for fires. So is it true, he says? Mm, is what true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. What? What kids? What are you talking about? Yeah, I just rolled into town. I just had a grilled cheese sandwich. I just went to the bathroom without using my hands. And I don't know anything about kids. I need to go. Oh, okay. Sorry, didn't know, didn't know, didn't know it was. Nope, sorry, don't want to talk to you again. Didn't want to talk to you again. Didn't want to talk to you again. Okay, let's go talk to this person because I am the friendliest RV person ever. You look a little lost. Um, I'm just passing through. I'm not lost. So where are you headed? A lot of people want to know about my business. You know that? A lot of people are very curious about where I'm going. Ha! I can actually say that's none of your business. But I'm being super friendly because I actually really liked my grilled cheese sandwich. And I'm be like, I'm starting my new job at the state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know that these jobs still existed. What do you do, strange person in a um, coffee shop that I don't know why I'm talking to? I work in finance. I'm a financial analysis for a big firm downtown. Since we're talking, I'm going to be like, do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. Um, that's really impressive, dude. I'm glad that you like it. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller. It can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Good job. All right, so let's finish up our talking to everybody. Whoa, hello there. Please leave me alone. Yes, I want to leave you alone. I do not want to talk to you. All right, I think we spoke to everybody. Goodbye, Barbara. I don't know. <laughs> I think he only had one eye, yes. All right, let's go see if this guy's still eating the world's biggest. JD, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Wow, look at it. He's still eating his hamburger. How's that burger? Oh, he's going to tell me the exact same thing because he has not eaten his burger yet. Um, are you new around here? Again, dude. Um, you must have heard the news then. Okay, so finally we're getting some new conversation. Um, yeah, I guess I should not be right up in his grill. I'm like, what news? 
Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. <gasps> Scandalous. What happened to them? No one knows. That's why they're missing. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened to them. And I'm saying, <gasps> something else? Like what? There's a rumor going around. There's a creature got them. You mean like a bear? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goatman. People, is there a goat man? Is, I've heard of Bigfoot, but is there such thing as a goat man? Chelsea, thank you for the follow, and Eva, thank you for the sharing the live. Jinxon, this is called Fear to Fathoms, and this is Iron Bark. You've heard of the goat man before? Where have I been? What in the Narnia? Love that. That was perfect. I have never heard of the goat man. Nope. Goat man, like from the bridge? No, that's a troll. I've heard of, yeah, the chupacabras. I've heard of that. There is not a goat man story in your hometown. Yes, this is how every super, I mean, this is how every slasher film starts. I always share your lives with my mom and I think she would find them fun. Oh, that's so cool. Hopefully she joins. Hello, Angel. Um, have you played any of the Siren Head games? No, but I'll look into that, Laura. You always come up with good ideas. Siren Head, got it. I'm gonna have to look into this whole goat man thing. Um, something like they're living in the forest. Do you believe that? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Well, that's a little disturbing. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Oh, so they don't come back. I mean, they come back, so there's really just like, they just went hiking. Some of them never come back. Ooh. You enjoy that burger there, dude. Oh. Okay, let's get to our lookout. D, doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. All right. See, I left my door open. There's no scary person in here. Everything is fine. There's my bed. It's still made. Everything's good. Everything's good, so I'm going to shut this. And we're going to get on the road. You call the couch. I leave the door open all the time. I'm surprised I actually ever make it out of any scary. I had to turn it on. All right. Look at me, look at me, look at me. All right, y'all. Okay, Beans, you be good back there. I'm getting us to our to our destination. And I'm assuming that there's no oncoming traffic because I could not tell, except for that car. It's okay. It's okay, everybody. You all just just hold hands back there. It's 8.02 p.m. Okay. I drive better during the day. Hello, Matt, how are you? I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking it out, the utter horrors I've seen in the woods. Okay, so I'm at the park. Okay. Coming in, coming in hot. Oh, took out your sign. Oh. I've arrived. I remember Mitch said I was going to be on foot from here. <gasps> I probably should have parked, but that's okay. Let's go in. Yeah, I kind of took out their 
their little thing right there. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. This is a watchtower game, yeah. Uh, you scared me. Debs, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Izzy, thank you for my ice cream cone. My lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, anyways, can I see your permit, please? Aaron, thank you for hearting me. Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred hire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. And he's just won't he's just staring at me. Hang on, let me check on that. He was gonna shoot me. He had a pew pew in his hand. That was scary. That one that one got me. Alright. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower number 11. It has its moments, yeah. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. All right. Oh, wow. He's like a ghost. He just walked right through my RV. Yes, this is the one that I had to run down to the bathroom. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Yeah, you got it. I've definitely taken this flashlight. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for the now for your purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so you know just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need be, you can reach me out on tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. We'll be in the uh, we will be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Whoa, hello. Just trying to get to my tower. Hey. Yes? Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? We, you know we have to ask why. Ooh. Somebody walked past the window? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, wow. Cheese, I'm doing good. Yeah, it was the dude from the restaurant. Um, he had a mask with him. No! I was too busy trying to talk to this guy. Why? Why, why, why? Sarah, thank you for the follow. Dangerous woods that way, pal. Don't call me, pal. You Apparently we have people walking by with masks. You won't blink. Bobcats and bears. Okay. Nasty business. All right, Billy. You got it. Get out of... Oh, there he goes walking through my RV again. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. All right, let's go park this... Let's go park the RV. Let's go park our RV. So it wasn't someone in the back, probably someone in the bathroom was hiding? I don't know. He left while we were eating. Oh, very well could have been. And I left my RV right, you know, I left the door open. I got a lot, you know, I have to get this RV parked. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Wow, that was harsh. A 
Okay, dude, I just backed into my spot and I am very proud of my driving. Look at that, everybody. I just backed my RV in. So then that way, hi, EMT, how are you, honey? Um, that way, I can just be like, Whoa. I can get out of there. Nah, but there was someone in the background walking through the fortress while you were talking. Okay, so was, did they come out of my RV or were they just in the background? EMT, thank you for my finger heart and my high bear. I appreciate that. Uh, Melissa, thank you for hurting me. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know. I don't. Oh, oh, uh oh. I have to turn off my RV before I get out of it. They were outside. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to shut this. And I'm going to consider this locked. Oh, okay. Fears to fathom. Yep, this is the iron bark one. All right, Billy. I'll talk to you later. Victoria, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All right, everybody. We're going up. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's Indy making noises. I left my bag, I left my bag in the RV at first. <sighs> I have to go back and get the bag. You know, why can't I just like have... No, no, no. We got a flood watch. And we have rain until, holy guacamole, we have rain until Saturday. I don't know why I thought that was, I had to laugh at that, but it's raining until Saturday. And today's Monday. Oh, really, Elizabeth? All week, yeah. You got that one lucky, yeah. I am definitely, I am, oh, here we go. I am trying not to, um, I am definitely trying not to go anywhere. Okay, I got my bag, and I got my flashlight, and I have the key. Uh, SoCal has had up to 11 inches of rain so far, that's not, yeah. Yeah, our little, we were expecting four inches today. Yep, Eva, I am not going anywhere, and thankfully, um, <gasps> you have a flood watch also? Holy guacamole. Yeah, I am, I, um, Robert checked the, the rain gutters for us, and um, I live, fortunately, I live on a hill, so we don't usually have to worry about flooding where I'm at. And I went to the grocery store. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Tower 11, so this is the way I wanna go. Thank you. Starting to walk a little bit faster. It's been snowing in Northern California, so we had snow this one, really. Valerie, that sounds, I mean, it sounds pretty, but it's like not. Taylor, thank you for hurting me. I appreciate that. I stocked up some today, just ordered groceries and tipped a lot. Yep. Um, Tower 11. Okay. That's why I went grocery shopping on Saturday. I figure I'm just going to eat what we have in the house. Fresno, I heard, um, imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. No, it is not. So let's go up to our little fortress. Jen, how far away is your is the restaurant that you're at now? Because I know Brandon has quite a long drive, but you don't have to drive very far, do you? Lonnie, um, is this game a little scary? My sis is watching with me, and she kind of likes scary games. Um, Angel, it's very creepy, and 
Um, I would say out of all of the Fear to Fathoms, um, this one's the scariest, and I think she'll like this one. It's only five minutes away. Good. Um, okay, I got my way in. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. All right, let's just... Forgot to turn the generator on first. Gosh darn it. All right, let's put my bag down. I have to go back and turn on the generator. <sighs> let's put this down. And then let's go back down. And turn on the generator. Because I have been driving all night. I have been walking all night. Let's turn on the generator. Okay. All right, got the power on, everybody. I'm getting my, um, I am giving my steps in today. So let's shut the door, because, you know, let's check around. We got everything going on. Iron Buck department right there. So there's the computer. There's my bed. Oh, I guess I can turn off my flashlight now. Ah! Turn on the light. And I think what I want to do is I want to open up some of these windows. I mean, because heck, I mean, we have a beautiful view, right? And that's what all this is about. There. Now I can look for fires. Okay. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Um, no, it's not like, it's not horrible. It, there's no like, it's not like a gory game at all. It's just suspenseful. It, it's nothing that would, it, you know, it's, it builds up the suspense and then just little stuff like that. Bunny, thank you for the good game. Okay. See, I would, I love this open windows and stuff like that. I would totally get into that. New beans, that's right. All right, here we go. So now I can turn off my flashlight. And I'm going to set my flashlight right here. Nope. I want to set my flashlight. I want to set it right there. I don't want to throw it. Oh, that's good enough. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to do a weather report. And it says the system password is Iron Bark. And then the tower number. And we're number 11. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So let's sit down. And radio equipment was sitting on a wooden bench. Yes, this is. I need to turn on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Turning on my computer. And it's iron. Oops. Iron Bark 11. Let's try this again. Iron Bark 11. What? Iron Bark and then the tower number. And we're number 11. Let's try this again. Hello, Delimar, how are you? Okay. Oh, that's because I have my caps on. So it's Iron Bark 11. There you go. Caps matter. 
Kay Kayla, thank you for sharing my live. Okay, hello there. I'm Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant here to make you most of your day on your computer. No, I don't need that. Okay, so service reporting. Um, so what we have to do... Okay, this is our friend, and he drives me crazy. I don't trust Smiley either. Michaela, thank you for the follow. Oh, I know, Victoria. Hello? Hello? You guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? What's your name? I mean, you just don't start talking to me like that. If you wanted to know my name, you'd be like, hi, it's Chad. What's your name? So I'm just going to be like, who is this? Why, why would I answer you like this? Yeah, no. Maxie Savage, thank you for the rose. I'm just like, no, no jerk. I'm not going to give you my name. EMT, thank you for hurting me. I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for introducing yourself. Um, I thought I was going to be alone out here. Um, no, first I'm going to be like, you were watching me? Why are you watching me? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Okay, we're getting off on the wrong foot, but I'm okay with that. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Um, I'm, I'm really tired. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm, going, I, I'm not going to be very nice to him because uh, I already know how our relationship is going to turn out. So I'm not going to be very kind to start with. I'm really tired, dude. I don't really want to talk to you. You got a fire going? No, I forgot to make a fire. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. I didn't know we were having a storm, but thanks for, even though I was being rude to you, thank you for the information. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, let's go start. Let's go get some firewood. Oh, let me go get my flash. No, I can't carry everything. So let me go get some firewood. Why can't I go down? I don't see the smoke. Oh. Did you light it up yet? Dude, I am trying to get out the front door. There's no firewood. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I'm trying if you would stop talking to me. What's beeping now? There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Oh, cool. We got 100,000 likes. Awesome. Um, who's Harley? You know what? Fill me in, dude. I've been driving all day long. I just got here. I have to do a report. I have no firewood. Who in the hell is Harley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Okay. She was one gritty woman. Okay. What, 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 define what a gritty woman means. Does anybody know what a gritty woman means? Oh, look, there's an orb. I, I think that... Oh, look, we're playing Phasmophobia. There's orbs everywhere. Um, <laughs> what does that have to do with what? I agree. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. I, that's what you said last time, but you called me back so we could talk, so. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna go get some of that gritty woman's, um, I'm gonna go get some of that gritty woman's uh, firewood. Like tough and strong, I think it does, Lucky. Kinda like she could kinda take care of herself kind of thing. All right, let's go get some firewood. And I am running, 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 running. All right, I got some firewood. Running, running, running. Oh, that's right. 
Megan, thank you for the follow. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you, everyone. It's a beautiful, I know, I love that. Thank you, Topher, I appreciate that. I looked away and thought the sneeze came from the game. Nope, it was all me. Thank you, everyone. All right. <sighs> oh, it's right there. Ugh. Okay. Gritty is showing courage and resolved and bless you. Thank you, Nalia. Okay, so let's put that in there. And then I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to go boink, 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 boink. That should light it up. I'm going to throw that over there. And then I'm going to take that. And I'm going to go take out one. And that. Did it work? Did it work? I see it. I see the smoke. All right. Emma, thank you so much for subscribing. You are now my baby bean. Emma, thank you for subscribing. You're number 1,159. Welcome to my bean family. Emma, em Indy wants to welcome you too. Thank you, Emma, for subscribing. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. All right, go lay down. <sighs> All right, let's go. I know, I, I do need... Ah, I can see it. I see the smoke. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. Tower living alive again. Um, Any sure. For the night yet? No, I have been doing stuff, other stuff that you've been telling me to do. I know, I'm trying to. He won't stop talking. Okay, so let's put that right there. Let's shut that. Okay, so we have the wood, the wood stove going. Yeah, she heard me sneeze, so she's all like, I gotta make sure my mom's okay. Okay, so let's go check the wind temperature thingy. So, it's at 20 knots. So let's go ahead and put that over here. Let's sit down. Oh my gosh, what? What, Connor? What? Did you report for the night yet? No! Oh my gosh. No, let me get to it. Shelly, you're doing good. Sense. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Dude, I am so over you micromanaging me from a tower that is all across the forest. Yeah. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. You know what? Mitch can go. I almost said it. Mitch can go ride a horse into the sunset if um, you just let me do my damn report. Yes, pound sand, Charlie. That's exactly what I wanted to say. So this is 20 knots. Ah, piss. I forgot to go see what the temperature is. Let's go see what the temperature is. Yes, Candace. I mean, talk about micromanaging. I feel like, you know what? I'm already the new guy. And oh, here's the temperature. Temperature is 45.1. Okay. So here we go. So temperature is 45.1. Oops. One. Uh, it was just kind of, I don't know. I think it was clear because we saw the sky. I did not help any today. Reported by Mitch. That's my name, right? Mitch. M-I-T-C-M-I-T-C-H. 
Oh, is it Jack? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's Jack. Mitch is the other guy. Jack. Is it Jake or Jack? Jack. Okay. All right. There's my report. I did my job. You copy, new guy? <laughs> what? I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Oh, my God. He has, had not, he has not had company in such a long time. Okay, dude, you don't have to tell me every time you're going to do something. You don't have to report in every single time. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, old guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Um, uh, you know what, dude? I just got to go. I can't, I cannot deal with you anymore. Nope. <laughs> hey, new guy. <sighs> all right, let's go to bed. Let's finally shut the door. I'm going to sleep with all the lights on because I want to see outside. And I am going to go to sleep. Oh, I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Oh, piss. Big sissy. I want to sleep with the doors, the windows open. and there we go oops gotta go around I thought it was gonna be nice and we would just look at the stars but no I have to shut all the windows and there we go and this one and that one okay so it is kind of pretty and that's where I'll show you where Connor is. He's over. That's my woodshed. And Connor is over. Oh, he's already asleep. You can't see him. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, probably. Kit, thank you so much for the follow. All right, going to bed, everybody. There we go. Do, do, do. What? What? So there's people talking on the radio, but I can't hear. Oh my goodness, Connor, what? Um, I had to pee. Connor? Oh, it wasn't Connor though, but I have to pee. Oh man, that means I'm gonna have to go downstairs. Oh, I better take a flashlight. All right, let's go. Oh no, that's the weather thing. So let's put that back, grab the flashlight. Let's turn this on. All right, I gotta pee, everybody. I'm gonna shut the door. Going down to go to the bathroom. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna pee right off the balcony. Cause that's what we do in the woods. Emma, thank you for hurting me. I'm not gonna say it, but I'm very impressed with my skills. Yeah, every chance I got. Uh-oh. Who dat? Who is that? Can we go down and check? Oh, it won't let me go check. Well, somebody's down there.
turn off my flashlight. I'm going to put it on my table. And I'm going to pretend like I didn't see that. And I'm going to go back to sleep. Yeah, you know, just the weird static and just the strange guy out in the middle of the woods. No big deal. Night two. Having my little cup of cocoa. This is Fear to Fathom's Iron Bark. Denial is the best way to handle those situations, and I absolutely agree. Just, you know, out here just drinking my cocoa, taking some pictures. That's where Connor is over there. That doll, thank you for the follow. Let's take another picture. Let's take a picture of our buddy. Capturing the moment. I'm going to finish my cocoa. I can just to a certain amount. I, it won't let me zoom a whole lot. New guy. You copy? Yeah, sure. What's up? This is Connor from Tower 12. Dude, I you know copy? who it is. Yes, there's like, we're, there's two people in the entire forest. You and me, you don't have to tell me who you are. I know I got a little jazz going. Tower 11, do you copy? I'm right here, dude. What do you want? Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Okay, so why are you yelling at me, dude? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Um, I don't know. Let me go look. <laughs> My hands were full. Well, I know that, dude. How do you put this down again? Oh, there we go. All right, so let's... Oh, yep, there's some smoke. Yep, that would be smoke. Let's I need you to confirm. Yes. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes. Yes, I saw it, I it said. Appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Okay. It's not a registered campsite. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Okay. Do they not like wipe after they go to the bathroom? I mean, what are you talking about? The fire risks are high this season. Okay. Am I checking it out? Okay, but why don't you do it? Because it's like you're it's like right between it's like halfway between both of us. Um <sighs> Is it safe? Be alert. Scare your bear spray, and you should be fine. You go down there, Dad. If you think there's a bear down there, do you go? Do you have any other details? I mean, what am I looking for? Am I looking for a bear? Am I looking for something else? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Like a bear. All right, I'll go. I know you're not going to go. I'll go ahead and go. So just hold Stay tight. Safe out there. Yeah, F you. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Okay, you call me new more new you call me new guy one more time. I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to walk up the stairs and I'm going to poke throat throat punch you. <gasps> Over and out. No, I'm not I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. 
Beth, this is called Fears to Fathom, and this is the Iron Bark Edition. All right, where's the frickin' bear spray? Oh, that's a big thing of bear spray. All right, let's go find us a bear. All right, I'm coming for you, people. I am... Oh, yeah. That's exactly what Connor's doing. I mean, he's not going out here trying to ranger it up at all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so I want to go to Gold Tree. Okay, we're going this way. This is to Lacey Trail. Oh, look it. There's a bear sign. It says, caution, bears in this area. Oh, I know, Elizabeth. Um, Lenny, what PC controller do you use? Farrell, I actually use a keyboard and a mouse. I followed the trail for what seemed like forever. Whoa, did you hear that? That doesn't sound good. That means... Mm -hmm. I just had to stop for a minute and freshen up before I continued. <sighs> I would leave now. Yeah, I would just keep running all the way. Oh, wow. So Kayla, my friend, she's like, um, oh, I sent her the pictures, view from my tower. Um, sorry, just got home. So she sent me my recipe. And Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply when you can. Sorry, Kay. I don't like this. Uh, I don't think my sector has very good service. The view from the, my tower. So... He only gets service in um, certain areas. Yeah, I would be like, so everything's a little abandoned, which is very cool. <gasps> Listen, can you hear that? Oh, heck no. Why do all the creep, the whistling, why do all the creepy um, serial killers whistle? Hello? 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 Whistling is bad. So the flashlight was pointed over there. That's where the whistling was from. There's a knife. Oh, I'm spraying my bear spray. Dude, I've, I've got bear spray and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, I have to put out the fire, apparently. So, let's go get some water. Hello, Pandora, how are you? Because Connor is just sits in his little station and makes me do all the work. Okay. Still don't trust what's down there. 
All right, where's my bear spray? Where's my bear spray? There it is. Okay, nothing. They're not, nobody's here, so. I'm just gonna head back on this dark, gloomy trail. My little feet are tippy tapping, but I'm just not moving very fast. 9.07. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. You think? Um, Sherry, thank you so much for my tiny diny. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. All right, it's very dark. Let's get back to my, let's get back to my lookout. I got my bear spray, I'm not afraid to use it. I got my bear spray and I'm not afraid to use it. I hope you're happy, Connor. Okay. All right, I'm back in my house. Whew. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. If you must. If you must. Okay. Um It says Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Dude, Loud and answer. Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Well, as I was walking through the forest and you're cooking yourself a hot dinner, I came upon a campsite that was eerily abandoned with a very creepy whistler in the, you know, very, very close proximity. I put out the campfire, but I had a feeling I was being followed and watched. And how's your dinner? Are you kidding me? Nope, I'm not kidding you, dude. Do you think I just like made this up? Son of a bitch. Yep, you are. They never learn, do they? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm sick of these bastards. Wow. It's unbelievable. Dude, calm down. You did not go out there in the woods. I do not want to hear that talk from you. This is the third time this month alone. Uh, that what you didn't do your job? Anything else? Um, it was dark. It was scary. I thought I was being followed. There was an abandoned campsite. Um, nope, that's just pretty much it. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, no, this wasn't a fox, dude. This, this wasn't a fox. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Then why did you think it was a fox? About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. You mean no like they? You mean like they got eaten by a bear or kidnapped or something? We don't know. No, that's the what happened. Some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Okay, like the whistle I just told you about that you're totally ignoring everything I just said. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some. You mean like something that whistles and suddenly there's abandoned campsites and I felt like I was being followed and clearly, again, you're not listening to me. It's crazy, I know. No, I that's not what I said. Scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. <laughs> and again, Connor, you're not listening to me. Sometimes. Gee, I just thank you for my tiny dining. I only wish they were true. Do you only wish what was true, you sicko? Well. Um, well, that's really unsettling. I mean, what happened to Mitch? I thought she was quite the, what did he call her? Quite the, what, what did he call her? Um, yeah, he's totally mansplaining. Life by Meg, thank you for the follow. Didn't he call, he didn't call her gr gritty. Yeah. Well, if she was so gritty, why did she have to leave so, you know, so soon? I hope you don't believe those rumors. 
I absolutely believe them. Yes, I do. I just witnessed them. Why would I not believe them? Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I'm not staying vigilant. I'm, tr I'm trying to survive. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. <laughs> I love it when he calls people goons and commotion. I mean, when's the last time you heard somebody say a commotion? What are you going to do, Connor? You going to go down there and talk to them goons? He's a tough guy. Big sissy setting up in your tower, making me do all the work. Will do. Over and out. Bye. <laughs> he irritates me. Can you tell? Okay. So now I got I got I got I got stuff I have to do. Okay, here's my friend again. Um Oh, not delivered. Uh-oh, so I don't have any cell phone. GG Bomb, thank you for the follow. Um, which girl, hun? And tell them to knock it off with all the commotion. Exactly. I'm going to use some stern language on you, young people. Psycho Chef. Um, hi, Lonnie. Just got on. Power has been out since yesterday. Whole area was without power. That's crazy. Now, you're up north, right? Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry about that. Oh, you just found the bean stickers? Yes. Are they not amazing? Okay. I'm going to go get firewood. Except I think I'm going to actually shut my door this time. Kiara, thank you for my roses, hon. And Kelly, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Let's go get some wood. Let's go get some wood. Aspen, thank you for the follow. You're going to, hey, buddy, them. And yeah, and I'm going to give them a stern talking to you. And you know every goon out there, the thing that they worry about the most is a stern talking you know, every criminal, that's what they, you know, they never want a stern talking. Farrell says, I'm hungry and I'm going to eat a beef fajita taco with avocado. That sounds amazing. It's their kryptonite, exactly. Okay, so let's put that in there. Uh-oh. Let's go. Oops. Let's sneaky sneaks. No, go in there. Why won't you go in there? Oh my goodness, you went in there yesterday. Go into your home. Okay, there you go. Let's put some gas. We're gonna go. Psh, 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 psh. And then we're gonna put that down. And then I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna go. I'm going to get down on one knee, and I'm going to be like, Shwee. who has you like that? And that did not take. And then I'm going to go, Shh, pshew, pshew. nope, that one didn't take. So I'm going to very dangerously take the gas can again and be like, Because, you know, we always use gasoline in the houses, right? Sounds empty. And then let's go. Is that one going to work? Oh, my lanta. Let's see if that works. If that doesn't work. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, we do have gasoline. Look, I just poured it on the floor. Okay, that should work. And I'm going to blow up my watchtower at the same time. There we go. I don't want to run out there, though. It's scary. Well... That's a recipe for disaster. I'm no Boy Scout, but I know that that can't be good. And then let's shut that 
Okay, I just kind of spilt a little gasoline right there, so we're just going to pretend like that's not there. Okay, and now I'm going to do my report, so let's go get our wind temperature, and we're going to be 20 again. Okay. And the thermometer is at 48.4. <laughs> exactly, Victoria. You know what? It's, um, it's the whole we're just going to pretend like it's not happening scenario. EMT, thank you for my roses. I appreciate that. EMT, thank you. No, um, random, this is, um, this is called Iron Bark Fears to Fathom. Okay, let's go ahead and do our report. And it is 48.4, wind speeds of 20, partly cloudy. I didn't assist any hikers because they were taken away by a psychotic um, entity that chased me. And again, my name is Jack. All right, look at us go. Not only can I um, work at any coffee shop in town, apparently I can also, too, be a forest ranger. Okay, let's go to bed now. We have the fire. Oh, I have to shut all my windows. Boink. Boink. Good night, Connor, you big jerk. And then let's go around. And then we're going to boink, 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 and boink, and boink, and boink. All right. And let's go back in. Let's go back in. And we're going to shut this. Turn off the light. And then we're going to bed, I think. Time to sleep. Oh, I was too hungry to go to bed without food. I forgot to eat dinner. Ah. Let's turn the light back on and eat dinner. Oh, Andy, was this the first game? That's so awesome. Look how far we've come. At this point, I was starving. Oh my gosh, don't be a big baby. So we're going to put... Um, we need... No, we don't need potatoes. Oops, I don't want to waste food. Oh my goodness, get back in there. Oh, screw it. We're going to have potatoes. Okay, so what's this recipe? Um, uncooked pasta marinara sauce. So we need... Where's the pasta? Oh, there's the pasta. Sorry. Let's go there, let's go there, let's go there. Let's get the marinara sauce, which is right there. We're gonna put that there. Look at me cooking dinner. Oh, we did, we missed those windows. That window stays open too, good job. And then, do we want this? Oh shit, every time I put it, let's put that there. Okay, so uncooked pasta marinara sauce, pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. Okay, so what's that? Okay, pepperoni, so we got that. And cheese we need cheese let's see if we can find some cheese nope and there's some more food that's going to waste because we can't put it back in the refrigerator and I'm just clearing out my refrigerator because I can't find the cheese oh wait there it is there we go and then we want diced tomatoes 
Okay, we're gonna shut that. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna pick that up. We're gonna put this in the microwave. Oh no, we put that in the stove. Can you tell how much I cook? And we're gonna just sit here and watch the stove cook. Uh, this is called Fears to Fathom, and this is the Iron Bark one. You there? What? Yeah, Psycho Chef, thank you for my lightning bolt. You got it. You copy? Yes. I just heard my, my, my food is done. What are you disappointed about it? My cooking skills? What is it, Connor? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What'd they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay. Are they going to talk to them and tell them how, it, you know, and point their finger at them? Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. Oh, yeah. I know you've told me that like four times, but thank you for reporting. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Elizabeth, thank you. That's my cowboy hat because I'm the sheriff in town. Um, I know it's been a... Um, well, thank you. I know I'm doing a good job. Good night, Connor. Ah, Miss Page, thank you for my crane. That was really pretty. Okay, please stop telling me you're going to bed. Good night. I'm going to go eat my, my food that... Oh, actually, you know what I want to do? No, I'll eat first. I just remember the smell of sizzling cheese. I like eating in bed. All right. I don't know why, but you do. I know, I would have been mad. <laughs> and apparently I don't use a knife or fork and I just stick my face in there and eat it. <laughs> That's so gross. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, I know, crazy. Okay, I was already full. Well, thank goodness. You get lost in the sauce. All right, let's put this back here for later. I'm not going to put a cover on it because that's, like, not what we do out in the forest. Let me go shut those other two windows because I'm pretty sure... Not this one, but these two. And then that one. All right, you creepy forest. The bean sheriff. Yes, he is. I'm kind of really hoping that that little stain goes away. Um, Izzy, thank you for my corn. I appreciate that. You can put that in the fridge, but not the other stuff makes... Um, <laughs> exactly, Pandora. Exactly. All right. Groom Lake Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Um, my case, it's going good so far. It, it's, you know what? It's been, it's been a really nice day. Kiara, thank you so much for my good games. I appreciate that. It's been a it's been a really fun day of um, it's been a really fun day and a good stream so far. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Luke, thank you for the follow. Okay. Um, 
Is it Clara? Thank you so much for the follow. I could do this job as long as I didn't have to talk to Connor ever again. That and the creepy things that are about ready to happen. I ate. I just ate that taco like a baby bird. How cute! <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Yep. <gasps> Emily, this is the perfect time. This is um, Iron Bark, the fears to fathom. Uh oh. What the heck and heck? Oh! Look at the shadow on the wall. Whoa. I'm hiding under my bed. I am hiding under my bed. Oh, my microphone. All right. Um, nope, we're gonna get up and look around. And then if you just joined, if you want, you can turn your phone sideways for a full um, landscape view. If not, if you keep it this way, it does show that there's a microphone. And whenever I'm hiding, I have to turn off my mic because the game can actually hear me. So when my character has to be quiet, I have to be quiet also. Oh, don't turn that on. Uh, shoot. Okay. So let's go. I can't see where the... I can't have, use a camera. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Well, you make of it, that's like freaking scary. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Okay, you're gonna call the one person who is like the most useless human being on earth. We're gonna shut the door. Connor, can you wake your ass up, Connor? Yeah, that was my sign that I'm walking to my RV and I'm leaving. Connor, wake up. Hello, Connor, get your ass out of bed. No, Psycho Chef, they always ask me if I take pictures, but they never give me a camera um, to take the pictures. So it's just something I can't do. I was looking for one. Do you have any idea what time it is? Yes. I absolutely do because I just got woken up from my sleep by a guy with giant horn howl. Yes, I do know what time it is. Until morning. No, dude, the simple fact that I just got left a burning skull on the front of my porch. Um, I need to talk to you now. Um, okay, they're not kids. I just saw like a seven foot tall owl whistling on my porch 
and they left me a burning skull. These are not kids. Do you think they were standing on each other's shoulders? Is that what you're talking about? Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. That is why I'm saying I had a seven foot owl whistling on my porch that just left me a burning skull. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Oh, so I'm just gonna have to suffer here all night by myself while you're in your nice safe little tower over there? For now. Okay. Do much in the dark. I know, Connor. All right, I got you. It'll be morning before you know it. Oh yeah, because the seven foot L is gonna come back and it's gonna eat me. <sighs> Try to get some sleep, Jack. Okay, I'll do that. Sherry, thank you for my donut, hun. Connor didn't make any sense. No, Connor never makes any sense. But there was not much else I could uh, could have done in the dark. All right, so I'm just going to pretend like, I wonder if it's still there. Yep, it's still there, so I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like I don't see it, and I'm just going to just gonna go to bed. Hey, Lisa, or Hale, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I went back under the bed, sorry. I don't want to go under the bed. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> exactly. It is not as glamorous as it seems. Okay, next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or a dream. Connor tried to reason it as it was a harmless prank by some kids. I'm sorry, but Jack just is not that, um, he's just not that, I, I just don't want to say it, but he's just not that sharp. Um, but there's something about that night that just felt a little darker. And I'm sorry, Jack, but I am keep on saying this. You had a seven-foot owl on your porch whistling. There's something just not quite right. Um, there's something strange happening in the woods. Yes, there is. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take a look in my, I'm going to clean off my binoculars. Because these are some dirty ass binoculars. Dun, 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 dun. My paranoia for the woods only grew after last night, which led me to be vigilant going forward. Uh oh. We have a flare gun. We have a flare gun, everyone. Well, that was weird. All right. Okay, well, I'm just going to go about my business because, you know, it's just a flare. Oh, I just locked myself out. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. I can help you. Answer. I'm 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 answering you. Hold on, let me put my shit away. Hold on, dude. You know what? This is a stressful ass job, and now you got yourself lost. Hold on. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I can hear you, dude. What's up? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. I would be freaked out if I was lost too, so don't worry about it. I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and Hi, lost Eddie. track of time. Okay, that's usually how we get lost. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Again, that's what we call lost. I think, I think I'm lost. That's what I keep saying, dude. You're lost. I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Okay, you're doing way better than the other people I helped the other couple of days because they disappeared. So you are doing way better. Can you describe your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything 
Something looks different at night. No shit, Sherlock. You're in the middle of a forest. That's why you're surrounded by trees. You are um, not in the daylight, and that's why everything looks different. So let's just go ahead and confirm you're lost in the forest at night. We got this one. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Oh, dude, I saw it. I just didn't. I just didn't leave my little treehouse to come help you, but I saw your flare. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go tell Connor, my friend in the other watchtower thingy, to come help you because he's a really cool guy. I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay, well, I didn't ask you that, but that's cool. So you're walking back out of the forest now. Does anything else look familiar? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. That sounds like something you remember. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. What do you see, dude? I, I can't see what you're seeing, but you let me know what you just saw. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Sure. Jin, does he go left or right? I told you the next big decision you had to make. Does he go left or right? Is Jen still on? Yeah, so Connor just, he just chills. Oh, Connor won't answer. He may, he has no responsibility for anything. Connor loves to talk, but beware he'll be um, calling you, right? Um, I played this game enough not to do a spoiler alert, but um, it, it doesn't really matter which way he turns. I, you can say either one. So if you ever want to play this game, um, I don't know if Jen's still here, haven't seen her in a while. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, on behalf of Jen, we are going to tell him to go left. <laughs> I knew it. I That's thought it right. was familiar. Um... Okay, uh, I knew, I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> then I'm glad that you went that way, dude, because now you're not lost anymore. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You know what? You made the wrong decision to go hiking at night, so I'm glad that you didn't make your own decision on getting back out of the forest. Yeah. Hello, are you are you back I'm at right your truck? Here. Okay, you're right where, dude. You're still lost. I hear you. You hear me doing what? I'm in my little lookout tower. I hear your whistles. No, I do not whistle. I am not a whistler. That is a giant owl, and you need to run. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. No, again, I told you, I'm in the tower. I saw your flare. I didn't choose to come help you. Um, that's a giant owl, and you need to run. You're freaking me out. What? Holy moly, what took you so long there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check on you. What were you up to, Val? You were not knocking for hours because I literally just came in because I saw a flare. Yeah, for hours, my ass, you were not. No worries, pal. Got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Stop calling me pals. Hand me the box. There's a hiker in the forest getting eaten by a giant owl and you're bitching at me because you've been holding a box for approximately three minutes. Now hand me the box. Here, here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. You big sissy, hand me the frickin' box. I'll take it with my little, little girly arms. See, look. Okay, now I'm holding the box, dude. Stop staring at me. Psycho Chef, thank you for my rose. All right. What were you doing there last night? 
What do you mean, what was I doing there last night? What do you mean? What, what, I was sleeping. Up north, why were you there? Because that ass, Connor, in the other tower told me to because he thinks he's my boss because he's been doing this longer than I have. He got me out of bed and he told me to go up there. So why are you bitching at me? I'm the new guy here. I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Dude, I got sent out there because there's an abandoned um, campsite. I'm not screwing around out there. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's right, damn it. And this box is heavy. So I am, I am, need to put this down. Connor, what are you, um, Connor, what are you, um, what are you sorry for? You don't got nothing to be sorry for. Oh, Lord have mercy. Damn it. That's right. This box is heavy. Nasty business up there, pal. <sighs> Can you please stop calling me pal? Bobcats and bears. Yeah, I know. You told me about the bobcats and bears, and you never told me anything about the giant freaking owl. Oh, got it, got it, because, okay, got it. All right, I was like, Connor, what did you do? You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Again, how many times do I have to tell you? Like the giant freaking owl that was sitting on my porch, whistling at me, that's eating the camper right now in the forest, like that? Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Yeah, I know, because the dick over in the other thing keeps on sending me out in the middle of the forest. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Yeah, that's because Connor doesn't do anything. I'm doing it all. Pal. I've been hearing you've been on the bit of edge. Everything all right? No, dude, it's not okay. I've been telling you what's been going on. You just gonna sit there and stare at me? Is that all you're gonna do? I know, I've been holding this box longer than him and I'm not complaining. Oh Lord have mercy. Uh, if you just say that again, pal, I'm going to I'm going to lose it. <sighs> Did you take a photo before cleaning it up? No, because I miraculously cannot find my camera when I need to take a picture of it. We're just going to sit here and have a staring contest. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Um, I have the skull in the trash can if you'd like me to go grab it. Um, I think that would be better evidence than a picture. But if you don't trust me, you know, I can go get the skull out of the trash can because it's just, it's just right there. Just right there. Just right there. The skull is right there. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Gee, thanks. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Shares. Aw. Sherry, thank you so much for my beautiful lights. That was really pretty. Connor, this is called um, Fears to Fathom Iron Bark, and I absolutely love this game. All right. So what do we got to do? We've had quite the night. We got... I got the guy out in the forest getting all chomped up by a monster guy. Um, I have no firewood. All of my windows are open. I need to go get wood so I can start a fire so I don't freeze. I was too hungry. Apparently, I need to eat before I go get firewood. So I'm going to shut the door just so nothing else happens. And let's take my lasagna out of my hands were full. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to shut. Oh, no. Well, I'm just going to have a. Oh, look. All my stuff is still here, too. Oh, well. So let's shut that. Let's shut this. And let's start that. I'll tell you. When all else fails, eat pasta. I'm stress eating again. 
and I have to eat it in bed, exactly. I do love pasta. Maybe I'll have that for lunch tomorrow. Lee, thank you for my tiny diny. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to take a scalding thing of lasagna out of the microwave, and I'm going to go eat it in bed. Pasta is life, yes, I agree. Um, no, I, I don't think it will let me open it, but I will definitely try. Oops. All right, I need to eat the rest of my lasagna, and you all need to listen to me eat the rest of my lasagna. Are you enjoying that? Because there's more where that came from. <laughs> it does feel a little personal, besides the simple fact that you've watched him go to the bathroom twice. All right, so let's go ahead. I have to shut the microwave, so I'm going to put that there. Apparently, I do not do dishes at all. So let's go ahead. Now I have to get the firewood because I would like to start my fire. I had to report. I want to start my fire. All right, so let's figure out what the wind speed is. It was a nice pan, yes. So it's 24 today shut this so we don't get attacked by an owl um, so let's put this down no it won't let me look inside it just lets me pick it up so what was the wind speed again 24 is that what I said I forgot what it was 24 okay 24 and then this is 58.9 58.9 got it okay let's go do our yes it says um tinsel says i haven't seen the owl but i think if it wanted in it would break the window oh yeah it's definitely a very large owl. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our report. So it is 48.4. No, it is temperature was 58.9, 24. I don't think it's cloudy tonight. I think it's clear. I guess we could say we helped this guy, but we didn't we didn't save him, but we did help him. I wasn't sure I put the right weather condition. Oh, okay, well maybe it's cloudy. No, maybe it's clear. Maybe it's windy. There we go. Okay. We got this done. Um Welcome back. Okay. So let's go. Report submitted. Okay. Now I got to go get firewood. I have to go shut my windows and I need to get firewood. So let's shut that. Let's shut that. Let's shut that. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Shut that and shut that. That one is on the other way down, so we will shut that on our way down. Let's go get our firewood. I'm going to shut my door because I don't want any creepy things coming in while I'm gone. And let's go. I have a flashlight, but I just, I already know where I'm going, so I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go get some wood. Yeah, that one, well, that one that was open. Okay. <laughs> Who is this now? Who in the 
you can just fill in whatever words you want to put right there are you who are you i understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you okay riddler who are you names can be deceiving call me silas okay cat in the hat who in the freaking frick are you no need to be alarmed i'm a worker i just do i was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there in the middle of the night you are doing radio maintenance at the tower in the middle of the night suspicious thought i'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about i don't know why you're talking about me but thanks that kind of made me feel good so do you usually work this late at night dude every sunday just trying to keep the communication lines open okay usually people do not work on phone lines on sunday night but that's okay you just keep on you just keep on living your dream we must ensure that the right message reaches the right places wouldn't you agree i agree because we never want the wrong messages to meet to go to the wrong place <sighs> absolutely but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop this okay you're creepy and i'm a fire watch person and you're talking about fires you're making me suspicious that i should report you to my supervisor who can't hold the box more than five minutes and connor is going to give you a talking to so don't make me do that that is something you do not want nature has its own plan some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try again it's like reading a dr seuss book and sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing a way of land to purify itself by the way where do i take a shower i just now thought of that i have an outhouse i have a sink i have a microwave and a refrigerator but i have not found a shower so i'm pretty sure i don't smell very good and this guy's standing really close to me so which makes me think that he's even more out of it than i thought because he does not seem to notice that i have body odor suspicious have a good night jack hope you sleep well but remember uh remember i never told you my name you just called me jack and i never once told you my name someone needs baby wipes exactly curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go you know what i will disagree with you my curiosity has gotten me through life um quite a bit and i think you are correct Teresa. isn't this the guy that was at the counter the first one that we talked to yes i do believe you it looks a lot like him okay you need to get the hell out of my way i've got firewood in my hand that i've been standing here holding farewell jack farewell strange person standing in my way this guy gave me the creepiest vibes well yeah because he's just wandering off into the forest the whole town is suspicious exactly i just want to get back to my little my little lookout tower no the game won't it it's definitely not an open world kind of game where i can go and do whatever i want it's kind of scripted so i have to i have to kind of go along with the storyline oh look at i got that in there and i'm gonna go psh, oh, kind of messed it again psh, okay I'm going to throw that over here. I'm going to pick up my matches. And then I'm going to go. Is it going to take? Is it going to take? Is it going to take? I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Oh, you get jump scared by your cat. I'm sorry. 
Yes, I'm here. Oh, I see smoke coming. Yes, I'm here. New guy. What? Don't call me new guy. We have been living in the same woods for over a month now, and you're still calling me new guy? Don't call me new guy. You there? Yes. Oh my goodness, this guy is so freaking needy. I always make a mess with my fire. Okay. You copy now. Yes, yes, yes. What do you want? Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Um, I have been talking to the creepiest guy that knows my name who says he's repairing a radio station uh, or radio tower in the middle of the night. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. You. Ah, Liz, thank you so much for my hanging lights. Those are so pretty. I ran into some guy that says he's uh, fixing the radio tower. Ran into who? Uh, you know, that guy, that creepy guy that doesn't blink, that um, doesn't mind that I smell, and he's fixing the radio tower. That guy. Ooh, popcorn. You know, Silas, yes. It's about yesterday. What about yesterday, dude? Don't you, don't you take that tone with me. Do not take that tone with me. You trying to yank my chain now? No, I, I, you know what? I don't even want to touch your chain. Why would I yank it? I <coughs> love <laughs> your musky scent exactly. That radio tower has been out of service for ages now. I knew he was suspicious. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Okay, so the guy was lying to me. The creepy guy was lying to me. Yes, honey, I see you. Okay, get down. Get down. Come on. Creepy guy was lying to me. Who would have ever thought that? Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Okay, then, um, okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, you tell me who I was talking to then. Look, if what you're saying Liz, is thank true, you for the follow. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. <sighs> okay, another goon. Ad another goon. And y'all, we have to reuse this word goon. If we do not utilize this word goon, this is a travesty. How am, how am I supposed to know? I'm being stalked by a killer. I have no idea how this guy knows that. By the way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Because you know everything about park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Okay, let me just, you know what? I'll just police the entire woods. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Yes, you do that because you're all safe in your tower. Yes, this guy's gooning around. Tower 12, signing off. Over yeah, yeah, out. yeah, 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 whatever. I'm so mad at you right now. Okay, so I have fire there. I shut all my windows. No, I missed that one. I missed that one. I think I've done everything I have to do. I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to pretend like none of this is happening. Where's my bed? Where's my bed? Where's my bed? Oh, there it is. Connor totally rage posts on Instagram. I love that, Liz. My unease is starting to grow with each passing day. Finally. Over wayward, this is called Fears to Fathom Iron Bark. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that this was, it was going to change. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. I don't know how much more he needs to see. However, that would soon change. Yeah, we're gaslighting ourselves, exactly. 
It is 918. All right. You got, it. you got a minute? Oh my God, can you please leave me alone? Wow, it is really raining out there. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They yeah. We've got a new system update on the computer. Oh great, that's awesome. I am so happy to hear that. Oh, I should go shower in the rain. Rich wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay, because we have to keep the, co the computer safe, but I'm okay to be stalked and harassed in the woods. No more snoopers, I guess. Nope, no more snoopers or goons or anything like that. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Gee, you think, Connor? There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Hopefully it takes yours. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Okay, let me just do that for you. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. I don't know what you mean by that statement, but I will fix my own computer. <gasps> Pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we have no patience for Connor. Okay, so let's go to the console, I guess. I don't know how to update these things. Um, um, flash drive? Nope. Um, Okay, so let's go help. Okay, for command info type help, check for available system updates. So CHH, no, CHK, UPD. Updates found in total. Look at us go. So, updates. Lib, thank you for hurting me. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, updates for random. Da, da, da. Updates. Da, da, da. I don't know how to freaking do this. Let's see. Installs update. So let's type in update. Please update. Um, package code. Security patch code is... Five, four, six, eight. Look at me go. Now I, um, it's, it's almost like I'm, um, oh, passcode. Four, three, four, six, oh, eight, four. Package found, looking for service line. Please try an active line. One, zero, four, five. Uh, five, nine, eight, seven. Five, four, eight, seven. Oh, we got it. Good night, Psycho Chef. Good night, Mrs. Sh Psycho Chef. Yeah, except what the hell happened? Why are all the lights out? Why, 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 why? Power was out. Oh, crap. Okay, so why is the power out? All right, so let's just walk out in the rain and figure out why the power is out. <laughs> we did all of that for nothing, exactly. I take it, that's hilarious. I blame Connor for everything. Generator ran out of gas. Well, crap. I can only carry one thing at a time in my hands. I got drenched in the rain. And here's a gas can. I'm gonna go back. Squishy, this is called Fears to Fathom, and this is the Iron Bark episode. All right, so I got that done. I'm gonna throw this over here because that's just where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna pick up my flashlight and I'm gonna go back. Oh, I had to pee really bad before going back up. Of course I did. 
to take my flashlight with me. And I'm going to pee. You're very welcome. I turned my microphone off. Apparently so. It was quite, a, quite an impressive um, upgrade to my computer. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go wash my hands in the rain and go to bed. Perfect day. And I don't even have to use my hands. That's how good I am. Ah, Liv, thank you for my puffy hearts. I appreciate that. One week later. Lonnie, your sarcasm has me laughing tonight. Good, Mads. Thank you. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. So Connor's even doing even less work. When there was no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. Oh, dimity cricket. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. Another what, dude? Another what? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. I don't think I want to see this one. Ugh. Jack. What? 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 Jack. What? I need you to wake up. I'm awake. Do you copy? No, I don't copy. Now, the question is, is how many times is it going to take me to finish this part? Jack, do you copy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? What do you want, jerk? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. Do you never have the energy to do anything, so why is that a surprise? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Yeah, so you finally did some work. And now I'm seeing this. Seeing what? Seeing more smoke in my west. Looks like we got another camper. No, you need to go figure it out because you're already awake. You just woke me up to do your job, and that's not go That's just not okay. It appears to be in your sector. Of course it is. See the from your end? Let me go take a look. Because, <clears throat> again, I just do all the work around here. What do you want? <laughs> What? What do you want, Connor? What do you want? You know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap. Of course right. you don't. You are an I'm emotional like child, one. Connor. You have an um, you have the bandwidth of a toddler. That's what you have. They don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. Oh yeah. So let me just go down there, rough them up, and let me go rough up those. Let me go rough up those goons and take their IDs from them. Because we all know if some park ranger came up to me and is like, let me have your ID, I just hand it right over to them. No. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. No, I, I would never ask you to back me up because, again, you're a toddler. Come take me tomorrow morning. Nope. Dude, rest. chances are I'm not going to make it through the night. I have to take the photo, otherwise I can't go any farther. Oh, why do I have the flashlight? I don't want the flashlight. I want this. I didn't know what to make of it. Good night, Eva. So I'm going to take a picture because that will fix everything. Huh? <gasps> All right, so now before you all tell me to do things, there are only certain things that I can do on this part. I cannot run. I cannot do anything more than what I'm doing.
so the door was jammed on the other side so we are going to try this again I had to shut the um, I had to shut the door all right so we're just gonna we all know what's gonna happen I'm just gonna run through the I'm going to run through the conversations. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? <laughs> that one got me as I was calling the bed, yeah. You copy? I was really surprised that the door was open. Thank you for my roses and my game controller. I appreciate that. Yeah, they have good jump scare music. You know what? They don't gonna think they made go, Lonnie, go. Go, Lonnie, go. All right, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, I can... That bathroom is, like, all jammed open like that. Okay, thank you. I just wasn't expecting the door to be that. Um, I was not expecting it to be. I wasn't expecting the door to be open. It's raining. It's supposed to rain until Friday now. So it's nothing. I mean, um, as long as the wind isn't too bad, I should be okay. I'm just not going to go anywhere. So <gasps> I'm just going to stay home.
did it. I did it. As the adrenaline kicked in, I hit the cast and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. <sighs> Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, for my rose. Um, look, Jack, we all got a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Mitch was in on it. I'm going to tell you right now. Emma, thank you for my good games. Uh, Brandy, thank you for my roses. Mitch was absolutely on it. Andy, thank you for my good games. EMT4, thank you for my heart. Izzy, thank you for my rose. Patrick, thank you for my team bracelet. Thank you for my heart. Trina, thank you for my hedgehog. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here. Emma, thank you for my donut. Sam the Ham, thank you for my good games. Um, yeah, Mitch was a jerk. Um, Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Yep. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Thank you, Mads. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which would, why would my family think that, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can be a haven for illegal activities, so if any of you are planning to go camping soon, please be safe. Yeah, I know the fact that it is based off of a true story is insane. Yep. That's the end of that one. I can't believe I finished it that fast. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was saying the Pacific Northwest. Come here, Andy. I'll open the door. Come here, girl. Love you, honey. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Come on, I'll open the door for you. My poor dog. Julian, I think um I think we'll do one round of um because I've been on for six hours. Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, it's cool f for me that it's based off of a real story. Um, there are other ones that are a little bit longer than what I want to play tonight. Yeah, I saw that, Mads. Yeah, we have uh, 340 uh, viewers right now, which is totally awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm not, no, uh, tonight is not a granny kind of night. So let's go ahead and let's do one round of false dreams and then I will call it a night. Yeah, there, that was the last chapter. Jess, thank you for hurting me. Yeah, let's just do one thing of false dreams and then I will call it a night. And if you haven't played false dreams, it's where we are going to. Elizabeth, thank you for my paper crane. Let's go ahead and we all play false dreams together. I really like Granny, and we'll be playing that one tomorrow, but I just don't feel like playing that one right now. I just don't feel like playing that one right now. All right. Um, every day. I stream seven days a week. I cannot stop the rain, sweetheart. No matter how much mama wants to stop the rain, I can't do it. 
He's like, Mom, please make it stop raining. Julian, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Mads, what this is, it's a spot the anomaly, diff it's a spot the anomaly game. Hannah, thank you for sharing my life. And basically what we do when we find an anomaly, we take a picture of it. Okay. All right, my damn dog did not go outside. So that means I get to put on my rain jacket and I um, get to go outside with her and try to convince her that she needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, my poor dog. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a pretty fun one. Okay, so what this is, this is the spot the difference anomaly game. And what we're doing is we're looking around our apartment and we have to find something that's different. Um, we have, it's one o'clock in the morning and we can leave the apartment at 9 a.m. And so we are looking for anything odd. And if you haven't played this game before, uh, it's super fun and I will call out the things that we see. So then that way, see right there, it's right there. Do you see the little, the coat? rack thing how it's going down um oh okay all right mads i'll see you tomorrow honey have a good day at school be safe be dress warm so we are going to take a picture of that because that is not right i just saw that the fears of fathom ironbach is not a true story um, I mean, it's all, every time, every time I've liked it said that these are all based off of true stories. This is your college apartment. All right, so we're doing this again. All right, let's keep going. And let's see right here. Let's go right here. So two o'clock. We haven't even left this room yet. Oh, okay. So here's the thing with this one. That little purple um, little thing right there, that little squishy thing, is missing. And since it's missing, that's not so much the anomaly, but we have to actually go find it. And when we find it, we have to hide from it because if it catches us, we have to start over. So let's go ahead and look for it. Yeah, it's a little Furby. So let's keep going and let's kind of look for it. And let's kind of look at it and keep going. Okay, is it on the ceiling at all? Uh, don't be, oh, there it is right there. Okay. So I found it. Now, here's the thing. Once I take a picture of it, I'm going to have to run and hide. So I will hide over here. Because it's not a very good, like, it's not very good at, like, hide and seek. But we will do this. Scorpio, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Uh, don't find me. Okay. Oh. It found me. <gasps> Damn it. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. All right, so we have that. I don't think I can turn off my, I can't turn off my flashlight. I just have to find a better hiding space because they just updated the game. So they might, they might've made that one a little bit, um, they might've made that one a little bit harder. So let's keep looking. I can't turn off my flashlight. Okay, you little jerk.
And then let's go. Everything looks fine here. We have the little burners. We have all of that. Yes, Stephanie, that's absolutely it. Um, but whenever that little Furby thing is missing, you have to actually hide from it. And if it catches you, then um, you will have to start over. Because what happens is, is it won't let you out of the room. So it won't actually, you can't get into the bedroom. Baba, thank you so much for my cheers. I appreciate that. Trust me, I have ran from that thing a lot. Did I look in the mail slot? Let's go look. Mm, mail slot looks fine. Peep, the little thingy looks fine. The boxes, I think, are the right size. Where did you hide this time? Smitten kitten. I didn't hide very well. I hid over here and I was like, you can't see me, but my butt was hanging out and it saw me. The washer is, yep, that one's going, so that's fine. Mm, yester, the last time I played this game, it was the light there. We have the window over there. We have the TV. Suitcase is closed. Trash can is empty. Oh, is the rug a different design? Yes, they actually moved it over. It used, no. It used to be over, but now that is the correct place. Jennifer, I it 100% when we first started playing this game, it would, the backsplash was over the stove, but they have moved it, and that's the correct placement now. It's, it's weird how they've updated it, and they've moved some things around. Well, this is a tough one. Um, no, there's always supposed to be three. And a white vase, two boxes, the shoes, washing machine is going, that one is fine, that one is fine, that's good there. That's good there. Hello, Lexi. How are you, hon? Well, isn't this a pisser? Two lights in the bathroom. Let me look, Jeremy. That's like a vent and the light. And then this one is the vent and the light. So let's check and make sure because we have a light switch there. We have a light switch there. We have a light switch there and there. A light switch there. The door handle is fine there and the door handle is there. See, I'm thinking that the rug is wrong and I agree with you. I think the rug is supposed to be something different. Yeah, and if you just um, joined, you can actually turn your phone sideways for a full view if you want, or you can look at it that way, whichever one you want. Um, the clock is good. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. I mean, we really don't have too much to, to lose. I mean, I do have a YouTube, and I record all of these, and... I post them on YouTube and the link is in my bio.
Yep, you're very good. It's the rug. So we're on two o'clock. It was a rug. It was the rug. Okay, so the TV, we have the books, the balls, the little thing right there, two o'clock. Hands are going right. We have that. We have that. We have that and that. This is called False Dreams. Oh, shit, the Furby's missing again. And this is a spot the anomaly game where we take pictures of the things that are missing. Not the Furby. I know. So that means I'm going to have to hide again. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now it's going to shut this door. And I have to find a space to hide. Oh, my goodness. How am I going to hide? I'm going to have to hide. I cannot turn off. I guess I'm going to have to hide like that. You can you hide in the bathroom? Okay. I'll see if I can get in there. Okay. All righty. I trust you. Because that just shut something. Oh, it shut that one right there. Uh oh. Okay. Did you see me panicking? <gasps> you just got dominoes. Yum. Okay, so let's go to bed. Why did I have to start over again? Yours truly, this is called False Dreams. Okay, one o'clock. I don't know. I don't know. I know I accidentally took some pictures when I was trying to run away and maybe I got penalized for that. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it did that to me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. See, me and my darn panicking. Sometimes it just does not pay off. Um, yeah, no, probably around 11. I'm a... I'm a little tired, but nothing horrible. Nothing horrible. It was a good night of gaming. I really liked um, I really liked Firewatch, and I think the next time we play it, I think we're going to be a little bit more story-based because I think this time we were more like, where do we go? Um, and so I think that that's going to be a, it's going to be a fun game to replay. Go check the slippers. Nope, slippers are all good. Slippers are all good. You're such an amazing person to watch live. Vibe is amazing throughout the whole night. Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. I do, I do, I do appreciate that. Otter, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Good night, Sage. Nope, that says 1 o'clock. That says 1 o'clock. Sage, thank you for my good game. The light. Oh, yep, the light. It's supposed to be round. Good job. 
Okay, two o'clock. All right, everybody, let's do this. Stupid little Furby. The fire, uh, the um, iron bark I thought was fun. I love picking on Connor. He is like such a goon. I'll watch until you have the life, but I am kind of tired as well. Yeah, but you know what? I'm going to be jumping off here pretty soon. I mean, this was just kind of a, ooh. Oh. So now do I just take a picture of that or do I go down? No, I can't go down there. Whoa. Mama no likes that. Okay, so that's three. Oh, there's the kid again. Oh, he's very angry looking. That was new. They just updated it. All right, four. Come on, everybody. We got this. We got this. We are the amazing beans. We got this. We got this. All right. So Elizabeth Roberts said you were on his live this morning. Ah, gosh darn it. Not the missing Furby. There it is. All right, so let's open this. You know, a Sleepy, the first time I played this, the um, TV was on, and it's like they updated it, and now it's supposed to be off. Mm, okay. <gasps> Ew, you're right. Okay, well, where's the little shithead now? Is it back? Ah, I got it now. Okay, so the last time I just went straight to bed not knowing I had to find it again. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. So let's open that. Okay. Why isn't it trying to hide? Why isn't it trying to get me? So I'm just going to go to bed because it's not trying to get me. Okay. <gasps> what? Okay, five. Gosh. Oh, I can hear it. It's the clock. Right? Don't you agree it's the clock? Yeah. Six o'clock. All right, everybody, we got this. Let's go, let's go. So tomorrow is Terrifying Tuesdays. So um, Elizabeth, I if you have found some scary, um, some non-scary or some non-gory scary dreams, can you send me some of the games that you found and we will play some scary non-gory games tomorrow. Bringing in the spooks tomorrow. 
Marissa, thank you for the follow. Oop, the door's open. Oh, and there's a hand right there. So let's go to bed. Let's go to bed right now. Dead out. I will definitely, that's on my list to look at. <laughs> awesome. I will be absolutely looking forward to your suggestions. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Seven o'clock. Tattletale, I have that one. All right, so seven o'clock. That one. That one. All right, everybody, we're so close. And then we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we definitely, and I know that it, it can be kind of hard because, you know, I have like so many like guidelines, <laughs> but I'm looking at the longevity of the channel and the longevity of the channel is, is that we have to, I have to be really careful about the games I play. Okay, that's going. Because I really, I want to be on here for a very long time. Rin, it's going really well tonight. Thank you. We've had a really good stream tonight. We have had a really good stream tonight. I have enjoyed it immensely. I cannot see what we have here. Exactly. Yep, that's there, that's there. The faucet is fine. The two burners. We have that and that. We have the washer. Two boxes, the shoes. Very fun. And yeah, you need to be careful with the games. That you, um, yeah, you know what? That's, that's the thing is it's like... Um, I have been eliminating more games that I won't play than I will play. And tomorrow, what I'm planning on doing, what I usually do, is I will try to play the game and see like see what the content is. But I have just gotten I've gotten blindsided here a couple of times on the game, just going along and having a good game, and then all of a sudden it says something or it shows something, and I'm like, oh my gosh. How can I get this on my iPhone? I'm not really 100% sure if this is how you would do that. I know I got it off of Steam. All right, anybody see anything? Mari, I actually went and I got, um, I was, I'm really happy with my computer, but I went to Costco and I got a gaming, a gaming computer from there. So uh, my computer is a Costco gaming computer. It's from iBuyPower, and it's it's done well for me. Have you gotten into trouble with uh, music yet on TikTok? Mm -mm. Nope. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, I don't know if my videos got taken down. Um, or if some of my videos are up there with no music, but you have to understand, I have uh, I have like a thousand. I mean, I post anywhere from two to three times a day on TikTok for the last three years, so I have so many videos. I mean, they might have gotten taken down. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, absolutely, Jess. Please do. There's a um, I made a thing on the Discord that says 
that uh, gaming corner, by all means, share your games there or here on TikTok. Yes, I think it's a little bit easier on Discord just because everybody can see it there and kind of like, um, you know, kind of like have a, I think Discord's a little easier, but you put it, you can message me wherever you want. Yeah, but I meant on your live, have you gotten into trouble with copyrighted music? No, because it's not, it, it's a game. It's, you know, if, um, no, no, no. No, and I've done lives uh, forever with music playing in the background, and I've never gotten into trouble like that. This is called False Dreams. And you have to remember, it's a little bit different on a live because it's not recorded. It's, it's live. I mean, if I were to do a video and try to use that music, then that's a kind of different, it's a different thing. Mm, right, and usually the games you have don't really have the music much. Yeah, or it's very small. Where I do get in trouble is with YouTube because the, I am recording these and I am putting them on my channel. They, I got hit with a copyright a couple of times with the games at the very ending when they play songs. I've gotten a couple of... Um, a, it's not like a bad copyright, but they have mentioned it a couple of times. Yeah, that's supposed to be there. You know, so it's kind of just the whole, it's like same, same, but different. So a live, it, it's there and it's gone. Um, a video is there and it's constantly being repurposed for, um, for monetary reasons. Bathtub is fine. But I don't see this one. Are the boxes larger than usual? Sometimes I don't, I miss that. Are those boxes the bigger than usual? Um, they look the same. Okay. There has to be one because the way that I'm playing it, there's always an anomaly. Uh, there isn't, there isn't the option for there not to be one. So there is one. We just have to find it. Ever thought about a platform for your channel yet? Um, well, I have, uh, you mean for, for this live right here? I have a YouTube channel for just this live. Uh, Sniper Kitty, thank you for harding me. And then we have some ducks on parade. We have a mama duck and a baby duck, and we have ducks on parade. Are there three of the tan bins next to the stove? I believe so. Yep, there's three there. Oh, yeah, no, no. I mean, I'm fine. It's just once I get to the point where if it becomes an issue, I'll just edit them before I upload them. And I, I already know what I can get away with and what I can. I've been on YouTube for about four years also. Odie, thank you for my ducks on parade. I got a mama duck and a baby duck, and I have ducks on parade. They go quack, 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 and they go smack, smack, smack. And they are ducks on parade. Um, the hood over here. Yeah, that's right there. Handprints. Ooh, is there a handprint somewhere? Did you see it? Oh, you are so good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so the trick on this one, nice catch, absolutely. Um, you have to, you have to take a picture standing behind it, otherwise it smacks you and you have to start over. Odie, thank you for hurting me.
Okay. Whew. Good eye. Eight o'clock, everybody. Last one. Yeah, that one time, um, I've gotten over 300, almost 400,000 likes. Ah, Miss Paige, thank you for my hand hearts. It's a hand hearts. Oh, okay, so it's the TV, because the TV should be black, right? Yeah, the TV should not be on. I'll let you all agree with me before, okay. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Very creepy. All right, so we should be able to get out of this. Run, 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 run. No, I don't want to look over there. No, I don't want to look. I always want to go. <laughs> we did it. Wendy, how long have you been doing this? Mari, um, I started uh, streaming about five months ago. Ah, thank you, Danny. Still bored for absolutely for purchasing an auto renewal subscription. Thank you very much. Sniper Kitty, thank you for my ducks on parade. You got a mama duck and a baby duck, and you have ducks on parade. It is. It's just a short little game. We just have to. I'm going to get ready for work now. Um, good night, and have a good one. See you later. Good night, Paige. Honey, I'm going to be signing off myself. And this was our this was our Monday Live. It was a lot of fun. It was a great time to spend the time with you. Um, tomorrow, again terrifying Tuesdays. I cannot wait for all the, the, Addie, thank you so much for hearting me. I appreciate that. I cannot wait for all the scary things that we have to look forward to tomorrow. I will be on at three o'clock, um, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is three in California. And I will be whatever time you are in the world compared to that. Um, Yes, we will be, and Elizabeth, I will be looking out for some suggestions, and we will put together a good lineup. I love you all dearly, and I will, yes, we're going to look into that one, and I appreciate you all. Good night, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow, and have a good day. Be safe. Stay warm. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Bye.